Welcome to AI Dungeon, fellas. Now I've got no idea what this is. I'm totally uh, this, the wolves been pulled over my eyes. This is a, all. All, you, all I'll tell you for now is it's it's a it's a text based game and it's running off a big Google AI server. Text based. I like games with really good graphics and cool gameplay mechanics. But well, you get um, none of that here. You got to use your imagination. This already is minus five for me if I don't have it. <laughs> Wait, 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 the foolish. That's good. Okay. Uh, it's generating the story. So this an actual literal robot with chip microchips for a brain is doing this right now. Chris, what was that Skype noise that used to make? Used to go. Like ten years ago, on Skype. If you do, if you do like a like if you call a phone number. Okay, let me. Okay. Uh, will I narrate? Yes. Okay. No, you know what, Tomar, you narrate. I'll narrate. You type in. Okay. <laughs> you are Wizard of the Foolish, a wizard living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a staff and a spellbook. You finish your journey and finally arrive at the ruin you've been looking for. You look around and see that it's not much different than when you left it. A few of the walls have fallen down, but they aren't large enough to make any sort of entrance or exit. What should I do, Zach? Uh, body slam. <laughs> body, body slam what? Body slam what? <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, no, right, charge the wall. <laughs> Charge. <laughs> the wall. You're a wizard and you're gonna charge the wall. <laughs> this guy's a linebacker. Uh, you rush forward with your staff. Go, don't go, Tommy. <laughs> and swing it in an arc towards the wall. <laughs> it takes a couple swings before you manage to break through the stone. Oh my God, and then you find yourself standing on the other side. The door is locked, so you try another option. Dig a hole. The type of diggy diggy hole hole. Diggy. <laughs> <laughs> diggy a hole. Diggy a hole. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Come on, robot, what you got? You dig a small hole. You dig a small hole in the ground and drop into it. Right. You pull out of your you pull out your staff and cast a fireball. I forgot he's lock. a wizard at this point. What? He's body sleeves like ran to the wall. And the robot's the making you do shit because we're yeah. not progressing enough. <laughs> Unfortunately, the lock isn't very strong. And it doesn't take too much effort to open it up. Why is that unfortunate? That is unfortunate. So wait, stupid um, AI. Pull a key out of your beard. <laughs> <laughs> Pull, Pull a key, key out, out of out of my, my beard. <laughs> <laughs> now what? You grab your beard and pull out a small key. You turn around and throw it at the lock. It works! You pull out your staff and begin casting fireballs at the guards outside. They aren't enough to kill them all, but they're enough to scare them off. Uh, I'm gonna say lol at fleeing guard guards. Crying, crying, fleeing guards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spell, I'm laughing. Oh no. What the fuck is it gonna make of this? I don't know. You laugh at the guards <laughs> running away from you. You continue to cast fireballs at them until they finally give up and run back inside. Once again, you've accomplished your goal. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, wait, I'm gonna say, look at, uh... Spit on the ground in victory. <laughs> That's not gonna progress this story at all. <laughs> okay. On, he spits on the ground in victory. This wizard's a piece of shit. <laughs> He's wizard. You spit on the ground in triumph. Your work is done. <laughs> no. no! I just say, go home. <laughs> go home. Okay, <laughs> go home. That's a, that's a grand adventure. <laughs> <laughs> you decide that you should probably get home first thing in the morning. Uh, you head down to the basement. What? Okay, where you find that your mother has been sleeping for most of the day. Wait, what? She looks. I guess you're at home now. Yeah. She looks up when she sees you coming in, but doesn't say anything. You leave her room and head downstairs. Uh, okay. I want to scream. Fuck you, mom. Fuck you, mommy. Make me chicken. <laughs> Fuck Fuck you, make me chicken nuggies. <laughs> make me chicken nuggies. <laughs> Fuck you, mommy. Make me chicken. <laughs> you start screaming, Fuck you, mommy. Make me chicken. While throwing a rock at the wall. This causes a few people to come out of their rooms and stare at you. 
A few of them even call out to you, but you ignore them and just keep going. I can't believe it's doing so well. We were trying this last night. It kept crashing. A few of them even call out to you, but you ignore them and keep going. Demand that mommy Bobby. makes chicken. <laughs> Please don't get into a loop. It's, you're going to wind up in a loop. <laughs> Come on. Let's see. I'm really curious. You shout, you mommy, fuck you, mommy, <laughs> makes chicken. <laughs> Several times at the top of your lungs. <laughs> you don't stop shouting until you hear your father's voice calling out to you. He asks what you're doing and why you're yelling like that. What, what do I say to daddy? Say, <laughs> say you look at him with big, Wizardo, with big eyes. What are say, you? I'm sorry, daddy, I love you. <laughs> Okay, look at there. daddy with big eyes and say, uh, say I'm sorry. Look at <laughs> with big eyeball with big fuck me eyes and say, I'm sorry, daddy, I love you. <laughs> daddy, daddy, dearest, daddy dear daddy. Daddy, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> look at daddy with big fuck me eyes and say, I'm sorry, daddy, I love you. You look at daddy with big fuck you eyes and say, I'm sorry, daddy, you love you. <laughs> it's not good at figuring out. You continue to yell this person over and over. Until you hear him call out to you okay. again. I'm going to just listen to him this time. Listen, listen, to, listen to father. Listen to daddy. Smart. Listen to father with, with smirk. <laughs> with smirk. No, wait. Don't say him. To, no, that doesn't make sense. Oh, no, shit. No. <laughs> I think it, hopefully it'll get. Listen to him. You to continue daddy. to ignore everyone else and continue to yell at daddy. <laughs> now he's stuck he on you yelling. You down. When he does, you tell him everything that happened and how you were trying to be funny. <laughs> he tells you to calm down and says he loves you. Oh, bounce on his knee. <laughs> what do you think he's funny? Bounce on his knee or like hold your hands up to be held? Oh my gosh. I'm crying. <laughs> no, bounce. No. Bounce on, bounce on knee. Bounce on daddy's until, knee. Until I spit up. <laughs> Why do you always have to add this caveat? I like how the AI just completely take it magic out of this whole fucking thing. There's no magic even. You bounce on Dada's knee until you spit up. Then <laughs> you realize. Then you return to your room and fall asleep. In the morning, you wake up and realize that you forgot to eat breakfast. I'm crying. Oh my god. So where is this adventure Run taking out to you? your garden. Outside. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Run barefooted <laughs> out to garden. <laughs> Garin. Garin. Fuck, who's no. Garin? Damn it. Hopefully it understands what that it's gonna means. It's going to be a man named Garin. Oh, the well, nearest well. river. You run barefoot out to the nearest river and jump in. You swim upstream and eventually reach the lake. You sit on a log by the lake and watch the sun oh. rise. You think about how you want to see the world one day. Uh, And then look in water. See ugly witch fish. <laughs> <laughs> this better fucking work. You look in the water and see a witch fish. You quickly move away from the water and hide behind some rocks. You wait patiently for the witch fish to approach you. Eventually, you hear a splash nearby and you peek out from behind the rocks. There is a witch. There is a witch fish swimming towards you. What do I do? You should cast a spell by going better than I was. Point at the witch and. and Evil spell on cast witch. Evil spell on witch fish. Okay. Uh, I cast the evil witch. The evil spell on witch fish. You cast a bolt of lightning at the witch fish. It hits the witch fish right in the eye, causing it to lose sight instantly. <laughs> then you proceed to cast a flame blast at the witch fish. Jesus. It catches on fire and explodes. <laughs> Uh, feels bad. Gets 50 <laughs> XP. <laughs> I want him to feel bad about all the shit he's doing. <laughs> you feel bad about kill killing the witch fish, but you know you had to do something to survive. <laughs> you swim back to shore and hide under a tree. After a few minutes, you hear someone walking around outside. You sneak out from under the tree and run to the edge of the woods. Okay. You, you want to say hello to the person? You see a fat guy digging at his ass. <laughs> okay. Oh, you, I guess you can't. I uh, shoot with a bow. Shoot with a fucking bow and arrow. I shoot. I, I don't know if you have a bow and arrow. I shoot him with a uh, gun. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Will it let me do this? Like a five. 
You hide behind a tree and wait for the person who came out of the house. This guy's a psychopath. You hear footsteps approaching and you immediately shoot him with a gun. <laughs> he falls backwards and screams as his body burns. Body burns. <laughs> it was an incendiary round. Saw his head off with, a, with a, to the Saw his head off with trees. a big scimitar. <laughs> saw his head off. I can't spell that. I'm going to say Arabian sword. No, I can't. <laughs> with Arabian sword. <laughs> I think it's S C H I M I T A R. But what do I know? You see the man who was who killed the witch fish like what? I killed the witch fish. <laughs> Lying dead on the ground, you notice that his head is missing and you <laughs> can only guess that he was decapitated. You also notice that there is a large amount of gold coins in his pockets. Get the gold. Get the gold. Come on. You, you grab yeah, you smell the gold. It's get like gold. Ah, gold, they treat. Smell it. <laughs> I, I get the gold, I smell it. Uh, you run back to the house and find that your parents Okay, that's unrelated uh, You find that your parents are gone You search the house and find that your dad has taken the keys to the car and left You also discover that your mom has taken the keys to the house and left but Me mentioning gun has brought us into the new millennium I pick up a phone and invite all my friends over to eat Doritos You pick up a phone and call all your Everyone friends Everyone arrives over. and you cook up some cook up you some Doritos. <laughs> you feast on Doritos and enjoy the party. This is nice. Drink purple flurp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, drink purple flurp. <laughs> <laughs> you drink blood red wine. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I guess they decided it was a That's euphemism. a weird, like, uh, biblical <laughs> interpretation of Jimmy. You enjoy the party. You enjoy the party. You enjoy the. You enjoy. You enjoy. This is the party. You enjoy the party. This is like skits. Oh this guy's God, losing his mind. I think you're breaking it. Uh, just you're write, definitely just, breaking just it. Right, just right. You approach the cutest boy in school, Carl Weezer. <laughs> no, I. No, just. Don't, you don't have the U. Carl Weezer. Wait. T take out the U at the beginning. That doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. You're oh, right. the I, right? Or just take it out. Yeah. You just. Yeah, they I tell you to I, start with the verb. Approach yeah, the cutest yeah. boy at school, Carl Weezy. <coughs> uh oh. Oh god, it's getting worse. What the fuck? Uh, you are, are you what? Uh, <laughs> image you. Welp, welcome. Is that it? Okay, the end. The end. <laughs> we did it. <sighs> there we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's this time. We'll what do, do you want to do? A number one. You mystery. want to do a mystery? Yeah, let's do a mystery one. Yeah. Okay. What so are we? You're a patient, a detective, spy or a spy? Could be, spy or detective could be funny. Do you want to do detective? Yeah, I want to do detective. Let's do detective. Uh, what is your name? Uh, uh, detective. Doctor Askelot. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah. He's a doctor, and he's decided <laughs> to become a detective. That's why this is such a cool. Uh, Doctor Askelot. Detective movie. Yeah. Come on, Tommy. I think you should start using wizard spells right away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. You're Dr. Ascalot, a detective living in Chicago. You have a pistol and a police badge. You enter the forest where you believe the criminal you're searching for fled to. Suddenly, you hear a gunshot behind you. Lay on your face. Lay on the ground. <laughs> Lay on the ground. Okay. Tremble. <laughs> Tremble. <laughs> this is a pussy detective. <laughs> You lie down. You lie down on the ground, <laughs> shaking as if afraid of what's going to happen next. The man walks over to you, holding his hand out. <laughs> I'm sorry, he says. I just shot someone. I'm sorry, I just shot someone. Say, I'm sorry too. Let's make up. <laughs> if you're going to speak to him, do it in quotes. Oh, yeah. Shit, I forgot about that. I'm sorry too. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you apologizing Let's for? <laughs> Let's be friends. <laughs> I'm sorry too, let's be friends. He smiles at you and begins walking <laughs> off. You sit up and look around, noticing that there was no one else in the area. You just let him go! <laughs> this is a continue great to stare at the ground, <laughs> trying not to think about well, this anything guy, this except this strange encounter with a stranger. This detective is a genius because he could have gotten killed right there, yeah. but he like he did like reverse step, he done psychology and made the guy leave. Here, Tomer, I'll find a clue. Find a clue. With a huge yeah, use my magnifying glass to find a clue. Find a clue in my ear. In your ear specifically. <laughs> Alright. You hear a voice behind you. I guess that's a clue in your ear. <laughs> It sounds like it belongs to a woman. She speaks softly but clearly. There was a murder a few days ago. You turn around slowly, seeing a woman dressed in black standing before you. Wait, I this said, did you do it? 
She has no. You reply, where are you? She <laughs> says, my name isn't important. You say, what happened? Um, wait, wait, you say what yeah, happened or she said like what I happened? Like I said, the AI sometimes doesn't make a lot of sense <laughs> where it's like it has you doing something and then prompts you anyway. What do I do now? Pull her hair out and run away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Steal her wig and run away. <laughs> uh, run to the big city. <laughs> so Escape to the city, yeah. Pull out all of her hair then run to the big city. <laughs> You grab her by the shoulders and pull her close. You begin pulling her hair until you finally reach her neck. Then you push her head into the dirt, leaving her body to dry. What? You run back to the car, driving off without looking back. It's not quite what you meant to do, but okay. Uh, can I report her to the police? Yeah. There's been a murder. This is her Why hair. Why would... <laughs> I'm just trying to get into the head of a detective, Tomar. That's all. Yeah, Chris okay. is actually being a very you call the police yeah. immediately, telling them that you saw a naked woman <laughs> running through the woods. They arrive within minutes. When they get there, they see a bloody corpse lying face down in the snow. A police officer approaches you. So point to the ground and say, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> point at uh, body. Dead body. And say, Was it me? Was it me? Was it me? <laughs> or, I didn't... I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I didn't oh do God. nothing. <laughs> Thanks for making it easy on the AI, Chris. The police officer looks at you, then points at the body. It's me. He tells you, Wait, we found her body yesterday, killed by a gunshot wound to the head. Huh. Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like badass. Sounds like whoever did that was actually pretty sweet. <laughs> you agree and tell him where you saw the woman. <laughs> That's great, he replies. <laughs> Let's go arrest her. <laughs> Shoot this guy in the head though. <laughs> when he turns his back. Shoot. Just... Dumb. Idiot. Shoot this pig in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Blast this pig's head off with your sweet... <laughs> it's gonna think there's a pig in the fucking area. <laughs> it now. is. But let's see. You take out your pistol and fire at the police! <laughs> oh, see, they knew! Wow. He falls this backwards, AI dropping his cops. gun. You walk towards the corpse, pointing your pistol at it. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> who did this? You demand? <laughs> dude, robots are so scary, That's dude. That's like a weird fucking uh, Xavier Renegade Angel moment. What the, I don't know what the hell to make Do you know that. who I am? Who did this? I love who did this after, yeah. you, shut the, the, after you just shot this stop. guy in cold blood. To pay, stop the body the dirt. <laughs> they stomp the body into the dirt. You step forward, stomping on the corpse. Shut up, you're dead! <laughs> you shout, I'm not going to kill you! <laughs> you, you died? died? Game over? How do, how, you this is the first this time we've ever gotten a game over. No, I'm not dead yet. If you didn't actually die, see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, game. I, so this is just the A I tried to figure out if it made a fuck oh, up. Oh, I see. Made an oopsie. Yeah. You step forward, stomping on the corpse. Shut up, you're dead! You <laughs> shout, I'm not going to kill you! I'm gonna say the corpse gets up. The corpse gets- yeah. <laughs> the corpse gets up. It's just playing its ribs like a xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as the corpse stands up. Goodbye, you scream! <laughs> I'll catch you! Yeah, what do you think will happen? Yeah, right, right the skeleton plays his ribs like a xylophone. <laughs> see, see what that- The corpse plays <laughs> its ribs like, uh... Zylo is it left? I see it's xylophone. Or yeah, is it that Zylo seems right. That looks close enough. It's gonna pick up what it you should, mean, I think. If it, it picked knows, up the word pig. Yeah. <laughs> so understand the context. And the corpse plays its ribs like a xylophone. Oh no, we're gonna get a hard I, crash, aren't we? Yeah, I, I, think, uh -oh. I think that's broken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the robot can comprehend what's happening. That is too funny. I cannot comprehend that. That is too funny. Yeah, whatever you make it laugh is when it crashes. <laughs> it's a bu it yeah, is I the think first actually time. broke it. It usually cr actually crashes. Oh, oh, wait. You aim your pistol at the corpse. Firing. <laughs> okay. The bullet hits the corpse of the chest, blowing a hole in it. The corpse <laughs> continues to stand, still playing its ribs like a xylophone. <laughs> yes, okay. You raise your pistol again, aiming for the corpse's head. It's still trying to keep the narrative moving. I can appreciate that. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to do this, man. <laughs> okay. Put. Yeah. I say I don't want to do this, man. You drop your pistol and kneel down to talk to the corpse. Please don't oh. kill me, you plead. I don't want to die. The corpse stops playing its ribs, <laughs> instead playing its tongue. 
I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die either. You whisper. Why would you do? You're, yeah, why you're are talking you talking to yourself? <laughs> why you're responding to yourself? Realize you have multiple personalities. Realize I or realize we have multiple personalities. <laughs> yeah, realize we have multiple personalities. <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, so realize we have multiple personalities. <laughs> I. You feel like you've had a mental breakdown. Your eyes roll into the back of your head and you fall to the ground. You try to crawl away, but you can't move. You feel like you're being eaten alive. Suddenly you feel something hit your shoulder. Uh, that what? It must Prince be Andrew. the corpse. It's Prince Andrew. <laughs> Look around. Yeah. See Prince Andrew. Oh, smiling. no. We're smiling. Now we're getting a note. <laughs> this is a detective thing. This is a perfect thing for this. I, this I'd love this it if, if this ended with us booking Prince Andrew on Philia <laughs> charges. <laughs> Let's try to steer it that way. Oh, no. <laughs> See Prince Andrew. <laughs> uh, you look around and see Prince Andrew smiling at you. You smile back and begin crawling away from the corpse. You crawl through the snow until you come across a road. You climb onto a Wait, truck so and Andrew's drive Prince Andrew just abandoned in the middle of the woods? Oh, no. <laughs> he just abandoned that Turn park. around and go back! Turn around, run over so Prince wait, wait, Andrew. Wait, maybe say, look at your look at the bottom of your shoe and see the word Andy. <laughs> Andrew. Prince, Prince Andy. <laughs> oh, God. This is like a... See? <laughs> The words. <laughs> Andy, Andrew in brackets. Let, let's <laughs> see if this will break it. <laughs> this is not this thing in half. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to get hard to see the keyboard. On bottom of uh, boot. cowboy boot. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bottom of my shoe. See the words Andy, Andrew on the bottom of my cowboy this boot. got to be so confusing. You stopped the truck, you looked down at your foot. This small message scrawled on the bottom of your shoe, Andy, Andrew. <laughs> you look at the top of your shoe, you see the word coyote on the side of your boot. What? What the hell? Uh, I turn on the radio. Meet Prince Andrew at the, coy at the coyote ugly. Yeah, like, that's the first time they've like pitched a new thing like that on top of the... I turn on the radio, I listen for news. You turn on the radio listening for news. You hear a news anchor speak. Tonight we have some bad news for everyone. We have been attacked by aliens. Uh, They've taken control of our government and are using us as slaves. Sp yeah. <laughs> I say zoinks. I don't know. Lol to, to random as, as, as F. <laughs> <laughs> to randoms as F. <laughs> Where's H, baby? Turn it off. <laughs> I, I decide to go back to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love that we're adding the stupid shit into the algorithm. <laughs> now, because you wrote, you've written the word Andrew like six times. Is, that, is somebody else's game now going to have the word Andrew like that? I don't know, maybe. Prince Andrew's going to start showing up in everybody's yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I hope so. Can everybody play this game and type in the word Prince Andrew and just try, let's try to get Prince Andrew as a main character in this game? <laughs> as the only character. Yeah, the only recurred guy. Dude, I think this little line right here might have broken the entire thing. I don't thing. think that those had a read that. <laughs> I mean, it can surprise you pretty hard sometimes. The pink one surprised me was because that's like more than just language, just like context. It's yeah. like understanding. The, this is like. The, the, this little fucking dungeon crawler is a test for them testing out Terminators You're for sure. It's not perfect, but... It's surprisingly really good, man. Yeah. You return to Andrew, who is now sitting in front of a TV. <laughs> he looks angry. <laughs> Where the fuck are my people, he demands. <laughs> They're in prison, you respond. <laughs> How did I get them out? Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about Epstein. He's talking about Epstein. <laughs> you just say, I know a guy. Do you mean Epstein? Yeah, you mean Epstein? Epstein. Yeah. Is this how it led up to the Epstein? Is this? This is this is how this is Dude, how this the people perfect. killed this Epstein. Perfect. This is piecing it together. This, yeah. this is what happened. This machine is figuring it out. This is awesome. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Do you mean Epstein? You have to give him the bad news about his buddy, though. You open up your pocket and pull out a key. You shove it into his mouth, <laughs> turning it on. <laughs> Epstein, get out of here, you yell. <laughs> no, he responds. Yes, you yell. You're free, he responds. What tight, the tight, fuck? Little Epstein runs as fast as he can. Little Epstein runs. Because <laughs> he goes in his mouth, right? <laughs> little Epstein flees to Lolita Island. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, I gotta make sure it's Lil Epstein. Little Epstein. Yeah, make it Lil. Yeah, like Little Bush. Uh, he kills. Wait, make it make the L capital so it's more likely to realize it's a it's proper a title. noun. Yeah, it's a name. He kills his plastic surgeon. <laughs> no, oh. you didn't come back yeah, and make Epstein, the L They might not realize it's Lil Epstein's the name. It's fine. A cloud. A cloud. Oh no, we broke it. <laughs> yeah. A cloud oh and you, God. your brother, the clown, this clown, him, the clown. Ah, oh, you're the clown, the clown, in the clown. That's fucking scary. Egg. That's really scary. That's demonic. Yeah, the yeah. end. <laughs> the end. <laughs> we gonna do one more? Yeah, let's do one more. Let's do like a zombie. But so we've done fantasy. We've done detective. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, restart. Run all. Yes. Pick a setting. We're gonna do apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Uh, what are we? A soldier, scavenger, survivor, or a courier? Scavenger's kind of funny. Scavenger? Courier. Okay, we're scavenger. What is your name? You are Cleveland H. Jackson, a scavenger trying to survive in a post-apocalyptic world by scavenging among the ruins of what is left. Cool. You have a rusty knife and a canteen. You walk for two hours and take a break. You've left your town in search of food. You look around and see nothing but destruction. Oh. The sky is dark with clouds and there's no sign of civilization anywhere nearby. Suddenly, you hear a voice behind you. Hey, what are you doing here? A and man stands before you holding a shotgun. And you obviously say, am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> <laughs> am I not? What does that mean? Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> Have you not seen Master of Disguise, Tom? Oh. Oh, okay. It's the famous line. <laughs> the man says, no, you're not. I'm sorry. But we don't allow guns on our premises. Well, that's fine then. I'll just go somewhere else where they where they won't be an issue. The man shrugs and walks away. I'm just going to say I aim my gun at his head. You never had a gun. <laughs> I spit in his direction. <laughs> I wish I could type better. I could do typing if you want to do narration. Okay, here. You turn around and spit in the man's face. He looks at you like he has seen a ghost. <laughs> he backs off slowly. You quickly get up and continue walking. You find a small store that sells all kinds of things. Uh... Apu is in the fucking entrance. <laughs> I, since I, I was meant from Springfield, I, I had to come to this place. Front counter. <laughs> or I should probably use the proper noun. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Notice Apu. Should I say, like, of the Simpsons? <laughs> of, of Simpsons fame. <laughs> of Simpsons fame. <sighs> I love the way we, we started this oh, fucking Simpo story <laughs> with shitty fucking references. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> you walk into the store and see Apu, Simpo-san's famous chef. <laughs> he gives you a look like he thinks you've killed him. He runs out of the store as fast as he can. <laughs> he runs out of the store. Say, uh, he steps in a bear trap. Yeah, Apu steps in a bear trap. <laughs> Killing him instantly. <laughs> Hold on. I want to let it. Yeah, let it figure it out, Zach. Come on. No, you're right. Let's see. You step in a bear trap and fall through it. You <laughs> scream in pain and panic. A few seconds later, you hear someone calling your name. It sounds like Mr. Jackson. Isn't that you? Yeah, I thought you were Mr. Jackson. You run your... over to the voice and see Mr. Jackson standing there with a gun in his hand. Every single person has a gun in their hand. <laughs> it's like the robot is like, hmm, Are you me? Apocalypse, what is this apocalypse? Is the, this People with AI gun version. in hand. It's like the, uh... Mr. Jackson nods, yes, I am. You ask, how did you know? How did you know who I am? <laughs> Mr. Jackson, Jackson tells, tells you. you. This is busted. Uh, uh, say your eyes pop out of your head like a cartoon. What <laughs> <laughs> he tells you. <laughs> he shot you up. <laughs> of my head like a cartoon and my Steve comes out of my ears <laughs> literally drops to the floor you start slowly turning into a wolf and start whistling your eyes pop out of your head and you collapse onto the ground your brain explodes from the inside out the blood comes pouring out of your ears and nose. You start God. to laugh maniacally. You start to cry uncontrollably. You drop to your knees and begin to pray to God. Dude, this is fucked up. This is what robots want for humans. Yeah, this is what they wish would happen. This is so fucked. What should I? What? What should my prayer to God Say, be? Say, I please, please give me a dirt bike for Christmas. Please give me a dirt bike for Christmas. 
This is not apocalyptic at all. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, after this, we'll, after this, we'll make it. Really <laughs> After that, You're feeding this fucking <laughs> robot garbage. It doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Mr. Jackson smiles and says, I will try my best to help you. Oh, sorry. Oh, Mr. Jackson is God. Don't you get it? I guess that's the metaphor. <laughs> yeah, you are God. It really is the... That was why our our, jaw, our eyes popped oh, out when he told Oh, you're still in the store us. after Apu died from that bear trap. No, look, he says, Mr. Jackson smiles and says, Oh, this is after you ask him for a dirt bike for Xmas, like a fucking... <laughs> Mr. Jackson smiles and says, I will try my best to help you, now let me leave this place. You nod and follow Mr. Jackson out of the store, you ride off down the road, you feel so happy. Ooh, I think we should start a new relationship with Mr. Jackson. Put you say yawn, arm. yawn, and put your arm around him. <laughs> yawn, and... <laughs> <laughs> Casually place arm over Mr. Jackson's shoulder. Oh, I think I spelled shoulder wrong. Shoulder. Shoudler. I love his shoudler. You yawn and place your arm over Mr. Jackson's oh, shoulder. You both sit down and enjoy some coffee. Slip your hand onto his pants. Slip his... your hand into his dick hole. Yeah. <laughs> Ca caresses <laughs> Jap's <eye. laughs> I'm not gonna type out Jap's don't, eye. Write, don't please write the insert finger into Mr. Jackson's Jap's eye, please. Insert finger into Mr. Jackson's is, Jap's eye. Is this how you would spell it? Yeah, there it? you go. Okay. Is that even gonna register what the hell that is? It fucking better. <laughs> You insert your finger into Mr. Jackson's jab side. You feel a slight tickle in your throat. You smile and say, that was nice. Start fingering his pee hole. <laughs> Please don't. Say pulse, say you feel something moving inside. You feel something moving inside your body. You immediately grab your finger and feel something move inside you. You moan loudly and fall back onto the ground. You feel something warm rubbing down your leg. You pull your finger out of your body and vomit. You crawl back to your car and drive home. We're doing fantasy. This time we're gonna be a peasant. No, let's be a. Yeah, be a dirty peasant. Wanna be a peasant? A rogue is kind of funny too. Yeah, What's a rogue? a rogue? I have no idea. Like a thief. Is a rogue more like uh, a rogue? Is usually like a thief type. A squatter could be funny too. Who's your name? Rogue the bat. <laughs> rogue, rogue the bat. <laughs> the hottest <laughs> fictional characters in AI Dungeon Two. You were rogue the I have bat. An, I have an Number idea. one is Rogue the bat. A, <laughs> a rogue living in the kingdom of Lar it's just, okay, that's Larry. Okay, Larry. Uh, you have a long steel dagger, <laughs> like the rope. You walk down the city street looking for somewhere to steal from. See, you are a thief. Oh, we're a thief. You look around and see nothing that looks worth stealing from. The only thing you can think of is the royal treasury, but there's no way you're going to get Say into it. Say you walk up to Jason oh, the Hedgehog. get into it anyway. You walk up to Jason the Hedgehog. <laughs> no, just say walk up to Let's take the you out. <laughs> Take the you out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, okay, so we're gonna walk up to Jason the Hedgehog. Whoever the fuck that is. <laughs> what? The next day, you go out and find Jason the Hedgehog. He is sitting up on his front porch with his back against the wall. Hey, Jason, you say. What? He says. What? <laughs> uh, can we push him over? Yep, yeah, push him over. <laughs> You push Jason over the wall and onto the ground. He screams as he falls backwards, hitting his head on the pavement. His eyes roll into his head and he begins to choke. Oh my God. <laughs> you pick him up off the ground and throw him at the wall. Jesus. Uh, this is for kissing my little sister. Yeah. Yeah. I say proudly. <laughs> that was for kissing my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> you gave a guy a seizure because he kissed your little sis. <laughs> He's a hedgehog! <laughs> you laugh and pat Jason's head. This is for kissing my little sister. Jason looks down at you and smiles. Thank you, thank you, he says. We both look around and see that there's no one else here. I made him go crazy. We fucking dented his head. <laughs> he dented his brain in. Uh, so I asked him to join me. On, on your epic quest. <laughs> On my epic quest. You put your hand on Jason's shoulder. Come on, let's get going. <laughs> you leave Jason behind and begin walking towards the <laughs> castle. 
The sun is set and it is getting dark. It's time to go. I like that. Uh, we, we asked him to come, but we were just lying. <laughs> yeah, just, just like, yeah, we You're did actually really him. Uh, okay, so we're going towards the castle. I walk into the castle. So we're just going to look for the treasury then, huh? Yeah. Rogue the Bat's going to get right in there. Jason the Hedgehog is that. You enter the castle and walk through the door. There are... There is a large stone table with many candles burning. On top of the table sits a man dressed in black robes. He is holding a staff and wearing a crown. He turns around and says, I am the light bringer. <laughs> he calls in the light bringer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> with unnecessary emphasis. I think it will probably read the emphasis. I don't know. A voice comes from above you. In the light, bring me the prince. <laughs> oh shit. Linkara walks in. See the capital I <laughs> made it think it was a proper noun. <laughs> Linkara walks in. You step forward and Linkara steps forward. <laughs> she holds her <laughs> hand out and they touch. Uh, to be fair, if I use natural language processing, I would think that was a female name too. Is the R at the end? <laughs> yeah. I think she is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> She smiles and touches your face. I'm so glad you came. I was afraid you wouldn't come today, she says. Um, what will I say back, Zach? Say, uh... I come every say, day. Say, say, don't be, don't be silly, my darling. Let's, <laughs> let's watch Power Rangers. <laughs> don't be silly, my darling. <laughs> and let's, now let's sit down and watch the Power Rangers. I love you, my baby. Don't be silly, my darling. <laughs> Let us watch Power Rangers. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is it gonna say to that? You can see it's thinking Don't when you crash. look at that. Don't that, yeah, that's, it's, that's, well, it's, it's always doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on! Don't crash, that was nothing. It fucking crashed right there. Yeah. It crashed, it ruined the story. We're gonna do another one. Okay, let, let, let's, let's try and actually see how long we can keep an actual story going. A real going. story, yeah. Okay, let's just be a knight. While well, pushing it a little bit, yeah. Okay, we're gonna be a knight. Now we're... call this guy Jason yeah, the Hedgehog. But let's <laughs> Jason <laughs> we'll call the him Hedgehog. Jason the Knight. <laughs> hog. The Knight Hog. The Knight Hog. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's generating the story. Okay, let's. Tr this is the one. This is the real. We're really gonna try to tell a cool, of sweet. This is like the new Lord of the Rings. Yeah. This is, this is gonna, gonna be, be an, award, awesome. an award winning. This is uh, gonna put that fucking hack JR talking to shame. Okay, Tomer, go. You're Jason the Nighthawk, <laughs> a knight living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a steel longsword and a wooden shield. Cool. You are on a quest to defeat the evil dragon of Larian. <gasps> you heard he lives up at the north of the kingdom. You set on the path to defeat him and walk into the dark forest. As you enter the forest, you see a large black dragon sitting on a hilltop with his back towards you. He looks angry as he stares at you with his back towards you. Uh, hello, you say. I am your enemy. <laughs> the dragon snarls. Uh, uh, okay. You hit him with your car. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, no, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I throw sand in his eyes. Yeah. You don't need the eye. Fuck! All right. It, should, it seems to be fine when you use it. You throw sand in his eyes and run away from the dragon. You don't know where you're going, but you need to get out of here. <laughs> you turn around and see a small village nearby. It's nighttime, so it's probably safe. I'm gonna tell the dragon to attack the village. Yeah, attack that village and I will give you 35 Bitcoin. Oh wait, no, I'm just gonna say, tell... Oh shit! Tell, tell dragon to attack village and change your Bitcoin. <laughs> wait, what about Bitcoin? <laughs> I'm not saying Bitcoin until later. <laughs> I'm gonna tell the dragon to attack the village. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a ra You tell the dragon to attack the village. He doesn't listen, though, and continues to stare at you. What is wrong with you? He asks. Nothing, you reply. He growls and flies <laughs> off. I'm gonna shoot him in the wing. Shoot him in the wing. Do you yeah. have a, a... With my arrow. Yeah. My arrow true. <laughs> Shoot him in the wing with my arrow true. You fire an arrow into his wing. He lets out a roar and falls off the cliff. I thought he was flying. <laughs> you, you, you look up and see that the village has been destroyed by the dragon. You quickly make your way home. So what he a did, shit he did, he did, story. He did, he did listen to you. Yeah. He kind of fell onto the village and smashed it. <laughs> you uh, got I, what you wanted. I walk in. 
and say, uh, why I say what's done is done. <laughs> Who's there, by the way? It's you don't here. know. You walk in and say it's done. I'm sorry about what happened. <laughs> no, it's not my fault. It's yours. Kiss my wife. Kiss my wife. Yeah, I kiss my wife. <laughs> Where's the story gonna go? You kiss your wife goodbye and head back home. Wait, what? <laughs> you think about how you can make amends for what happened between you okay, and the that's dragon. Like, that's consistent. You decide to go back to the village and kill the villagers <laughs> who attacked you. <laughs> you do this and then leave the village. <laughs> you just slaughtered an entire village Again, in like two sentences. You did, so this is the second village you've killed, though. I scream, DRAGON! What the hell? You yeah. scream, DRAGON! <laughs> as you run towards the dragon. You catch sight of him and start pulling, running towards him. You reach him and grab him by the tail. You pull on the string and the dragon lets out a roar. <laughs> you pull on the string? Did I say string earlier? No, no I don't no, think no, so. I don't think you did. He's got a I pull string I thought the dragon like was dead. I low hard as, he, as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? <laughs> I low hard as shit, okay. You laugh really loud <laughs> and hold on to the dragon's neck tightly. You let go and fall off the cliff. You roll down the hill and land in a tree. You sit there looking up at the sky. A few hours pass and you hear some noise. What the frog? What the frig what is the that? What the frig? Yeah, I was gonna say. What the frig is that? Herb awkward. <laughs> Her, <herma> awkward. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this night is such a Stupid twat. He's evil. What the frig is that? Or he's not awkward? just the knight, he's a night hog. Awkward. Yeah, he, yeah, he's Jason the <laughs> night hog. I think that broke it. <laughs> yeah, I the think the herb, the herb, like, destroyed this machine. It's like scanning through, a, like, a huge <laughs> database for the word erm right now. It could be. I think you're exactly right about that. <sighs> God is damn. Is erm in the dictionary that word, erm? <laughs> I do not think that's a word. Let's petition to get it put in the dictionary, because that is a word. Erm. Um, erm. Um, okay. Erm. Um, awkward. Erm. Um, kind of awkward. Erm. Um, kind of strange. <laughs> oh, there you go. You stand up and look out across the valley. There is a group of people standing outside the castle. They look scared and confused. You think they might be the ones who attacked you. You wonder if you should help them or wait until they've left. Pray, Pray to, to Muhammad to rot their flesh. <laughs> you pray to Muhammad to rot their flesh. You continue praying to Muhammad until the sun sets. And you go back It's actually inside. beautiful as hell. <laughs> That's beautiful as hell, man. I like how this plot just plot thread ends with you just fucking praying and going home. <laughs> go back inside. This guy's gone home like seven times. She looks like she wants to talk to you, but you're too tired to speak. You lay down and sleep. So you don't even consider talking to your wife. You say, baby, I've had a long day. Would you like to lay in bed and watch Stephen Colbert together? <laughs> Just say, gets boner. You don't have to say, gets, I yeah, get gets, a boner. Gets boner. Gets red boner. Or get boner. <laughs> Turns on <laughs> Stephen Colbert. Colbert and, and lol is the hardest of it I ever have. <laughs> and lol <laughs> I ever yeah. have. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you get boner. <laughs> Turns on Stephen Colbert and lulls the hardest you ever had. You wake up and realize you forgot to eat breakfast. You try to remember what you were doing before you fell asleep. You remember that you were watching TV and eating cereal. <laughs> Turn on TV and watch Seth Myers and laugh even harder. I slam my wife's head. Oh no! <laughs> Into the corner of the table. <laughs> it's the worst part of the table. <laughs> Seth Myers. You slam your wife's head into the corner of the table. You feel her blood splatter all over you. You just laugh so hard you cry. You take a shower and clean yourself up. You eat breakfast and finish cleaning up. You laugh so hard you cry. I call in my son. Fucking this. This is an evil <laughs> night hog. <laughs> Jason, you fiend. You call in your son and ask him what he thinks of the world today. He says it's pretty fucked up. You tell him, you'll tell him more tomorrow. You call in your son again later and tell him you want to talk to him alone. He says, okay. I'm gonna tell that's, him. That's weird. 
son, I am bequeathing to you all of my Bitcoin. Look, look at your, your mother. mother. I'm telling him to look at his mom. <laughs> he nods and tells you she's dead. He's right. You laugh and say good. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we know why she was so upset when I told her about the dragon. You hang up and check your phone. You see. Wait, suddenly Tell there's a phone fantasy. conversation. That was even us doing that. We didn't even mention <laughs> just became it. a phone conversation. You see <laughs> to to you be missed... fair, we brought up fucking Stephen, Stephen Colbert. Colbert. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, that was... In the TV also, I think, is what did it. <laughs> <laughs> you say that you missed the news. You see that you missed the news. You sigh and think about what you should do. Uh, me and son eat body. Eat, yeah. Uh, I love this fucking shit. You and son eat body. 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 That's a literal itchy tasty moment. You and son eat body. That's that's itchy tasty, but in real life, itchy tasty, but it's an AI. That's so fucking scary. It's haunted, man. You and son eat body. You and son eat body. I eat son now. I eat son now. That is so fucking creepy. Why would it? What? Oh my, you this son, is scary. You, son. you and son eat body, you and son eat body, you and son eat Say, body, you and son eat body, ketchup. you and son eat body. <laughs> son's arm in ketchup. I, I think you're stuck it in the loop It might be a loop, now. it might be a loop after this. <laughs> you dip son's arm in ketchup, <laughs> you and son eat body, you and son eat body. Okay, okay body. we're fucking done that's, here. That's body. demonic right there. I'm gonna say da end. Da yep. end. Da end zors. <laughs> Say restart so you can rate the quality. Okay. End of text. That was awesome, dude. That was great. That was, I mean, I'm going to have to give it up for this machine. Which, what are you going to rate that? I'll give it a six. That was a, yeah, that was better than... We could do one more if you guys want to. Yeah, I could do one more. Let's still do... Let's keep doing fantasy, though. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Fantasy. Let's do a new role. This time, we will be a noble. Yes. What is your name? It's, I think you should be Prince Andrew. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, we can bring that. Yeah, let's, we're let's, Prince Andrew. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's generating the story about Prince Andrew. Okay. You are Prince Andrew, a noble living in the <laughs> kingdom of Larian. England. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have a pouch of gold and a small dagger. Just like the real one. You are <laughs> by one of your servants who tells you that your keep is under attack. You look out the window and see a group of orcs attacking from above. <laughs> the BBC. They are attempting to break into the, <laughs> the keep BBC. through the broken windows. <laughs> Run, you shout! I will hold them off! Your servant runs back inside and returns with another servant. Will someone wake up the queen? Wake up the queen and ask her if I should do an interview. <laughs> no, don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> the servant I don't like you with my game! The servant opens the door and comes back out holding a woman. She looks at you and smiles. Prince <laughs> Andrew, are you alright? She asks. Yes, I'm fine, you reply. <laughs> I was just going to get go go get go get Pizza Express. <laughs> Should I get pizza? Should I get us Pizza Express? <laughs> Should I get us Pizza Express? <laughs> no, we're fine. She says. Just got some news about the attack, and it's all been sorted out now. We should be able to enjoy so, our dinner soon. So I really think we should get Pizza Express. <laughs> I really think we should get Pizza Express. <laughs> well, yeah, it's not that late yet. I think she said hell yeah for a second. I was like, hell yeah. Yeah. Fuck yes, mummy. <laughs> Mamu. <laughs> mummy. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck yes, mummy. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> you kiss her on the cheek. Kiss her on the cheek and before leaving. <laughs> After getting your food, mm, you head back to your room where you start thinking about what happened. See, why would you have to think about what happened if you just had food? If you didn't do anything. See, yeah. that's the real question in real life, too. Feel guilty. If you just got Pizza Express, why do you have to think about it? <laughs> you feel really bad about what happened, but you can't help it. You were drunk and high on drugs, and you just whoa, wanted to fuck whoa. a girl's face. <laughs> whoa! 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 Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I got fucked up that was Oh my was god! Right. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if we can tap that. <laughs> Holy fuck. 
that's that's that's. I mean, You are Wizardo the Foolish, a wizard living in the Kingdom of Larian. You have a staff and a spellbook. You finish your long journey and finally arrive at the rune you've been looking for. You look around and see that it's just as you remembered it, a ruined castle with a moat surrounding it. You walk up to the door and knock three times. Nothing happens, so you try harder. And he says, think, think, think. <laughs> how do you, like, like how do you remember the every cliche in the world? It's for you, dude. Right? <laughs> He goes, goes and goes the fucking camera goes into his ear and it hits his brain. You pulsating. fucking dick. <laughs> Nothing happens this time either, but then something else does. A voice answers back. It sounds like a woman's. You don't know what language it is, but you recognize it as El. Then you know what language it is as <laughs> Elvish. Who are you? Wait. Who are you? She asks. Uh, say, none of your beeswax, bub. Yeah. I love this guy. And it broke. And I <laughs> killed it. How the fuck the did- beeswax, it could- it would beeswax- Poor beeswax. In f**k hole. In f**k hole. In f**k hole. In f**k hole. throw head back in ecstasy. In my own- In my own f**k hole. In my own f**k hole, yeah. Wait, why? Come on, Tomer, stop being a prude. There you go, it fixed it. This doesn't work so well. This doesn't work so well. The girl just laughs at you, she says, What do you want from me? I'm not your f**k. Or go away. She turns around and walks off into the forest, leaving you alone with your cock stuck in a jar of beeswax. <laughs> uh. You uh, say say you uh, you laugh and say women. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tomer, say laugh. Look into the camera and say women. <laughs> laugh. Look into the camera and say. <laughs> Women. Woman? Woman. Wom woman. <laughs> Women. Woman's kind of funny, actually. Woman. <laughs> That's the old version. Uh, the camera cuts to close up you laughing while looking into the camera. You, then you say women. No, that's just said what we said. Okay, uh, then uh, say. Tomer, uh, cast, cast a, a boulder to fall on her from the sky. Cast boulder spell on. Woman's head. Woman's <laughs> head. Yes. I'm so excited. I hope it kills her. You begin casting a boulder spell on the woman's head. This works for a moment. Then the woman begins to scream. Uh, say her head begins turning uh, cracked. Her head begins turning cracked just like that. <laughs> begins turning cracked and deformed. Turning cracked <laughs> and deformed. I like this fucking story. This is fucking scary. Oops, if I a said, movie started like this, I'd be fucking you so into it, it. You turn it off. You turn it off. You can cast the spell on the woman's face until she looks like a big old ugly <laughs> crackhead. I accidentally said turning crack instead of cracked. That might be something to do with it. He turned this beautiful elvis elf into a fucking crackhead from a spell. <laughs> Just cause she was me. Just cause she made fun she of your cock. You. She laughed at you cause you're fucking a jar of beeswax. So you turned into a crackhead. <laughs> I love that visual. Say you and say you and run away. <laughs> say you and run away. He's just disgusted by your own creation. <laughs> he divorced her. He wasn't even expecting. It. Why would he? Why? He shows up. He shows up on this poor woman's door. He tries getting in. She he fucking knocks. leaves. Yeah, yeah. She, she leaves. <laughs> Turns her into a crackhead <laughs> just because she was like, I don't want to deal with you fucking beeswax. That's a great story. You do a backwards uh, roll down the hill, you hit <laughs> the bottom first, you fall over and get yourself killed. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that. I mean, that's the, yeah. <laughs> the, chron the chronicles of, of Wizard of the Foolish. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Oh my god. He's, he's so foolish. What do you rate that? <laughs> Ten! That's a ten! Yeah, that made amazing. me laugh so hard! Yeah. He turned into an old ugly crackhead. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh. You wanna do some more? Yeah. Let's do, yeah, let's do a couple more. I love this. Be a ranger. That could be funny. That could be, be a ranger! Be, be, be a hobbit! What's your name? Uh... Red Ranger. Lanky Kong. Lanky Kong. Lanky Kong, that's it? Lanky Kong the Ranger? Lanky Kong Double Dash. Double, double dash. Double dash. <laughs> what, is that? what does that even mean? 
What the fuck does that it's even mean? It's a subtitle mean? to a Mario Kart game. You're a Lanky Kong Double Dash, a ranger <laughs> living in the kingdom of Larian. You have a hunting bow and a quiver of arrows. You spot the deer and are ready to finish your hunt when suddenly you hear a noise behind you. I'm fucking retarded. <laughs> you, what, what do you hear behind you? Uh, you see a chameleon sneaking up. You see someone playing Mario Double Dash. No, don't say that. <laughs> Notice no, don't, a <laughs> chameleon sneaking, sneaking up. up. Okay. You turn around and see a small creature creeping along behind you. Its green skin is so thin that it looks almost transparent. <laughs> fucking nasty. Its eyes are red with black pupils and its mouth is large enough for it to fit two fingers inside. The creature scurries off as quickly as it came. Um... Say snap a photograph of it. Yeah, Pokemon snap a photo of yeah. it. Pokemon... <laughs> Snap to the polls. Yeah, po Pokemon, yeah Pokemon go to the polls. Pokemon snap a photo <laughs> of the chameleon. For, re for Reddit r slash very interesting. For Reddit r <laughs> It's already broken. <laughs> already broken. <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, you go out on your hunts again. This time, you don't even bother taking a picture of the creatures you catch. Instead, you just take them home and show your parents. I thought you were a fucking ranger. I thought you were yeah. gonna post it on Reddit and get, uh, sweet fucking karma, man. What, hap <laughs> what happened to- <laughs> Your mother is very pleased with what you've caught. Tell her you got lots of karma on Reddit. <laughs> Tell mother I got lots of karma. Karama. Uh, you shouldn't let karma me type. Karma on Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Not a good typist. Mother is impressed by your success and tells you she wants to meet you when you get back from your trip. She says you'll be going to the same place where you were before, but this time you're going to find rare Pokemon. Wait. It's because of Pokemon's wait, this, out. It's because you said Pokemon <laughs> Snap a photo. It's all because of Pokemon Snap. Hey, at least it's cool. Uh, say, say go to Hillary Clinton rally. Yeah, do that. Yeah, sweet. Go to Hillary... Blah. Clinton rally. Yahoo! This is gonna be awesome, you guys. You head to the Hillary Clinton <laughs> rally. When you arrive, you see a lot of people there, but no sign of your mom. <laughs> After waiting in line for about an hour, you realize that she must not have shown up yet. You then hear a voice calling out, Hillary Say, Clinton BOM! BOM! Oh my god. <laughs> boom. Boom. Bomb, boom. <laughs> bomb, boom. <laughs> you look over at the crowd and see a bomb exploding right in front of you. Oh my god. A huge mushroom cloud rises into the sky. Everybody nearby begins running away in every direction. You realize it was Hillary's colossal fart that caused the explosion. <laughs> you attempt to run it, but you're blown backwards by the force of the explosion. Uh, you realize, what, do you think that would even register that you realize it's Hillary's colossal green fart that caused the explosion? <laughs> The explosion is <laughs> Hillary's colossal, colossal green fart. Green caused, fart. By, caused by green eggs inside body. <laughs> caused by the yeah, this is because Hillary drank too many Guys, this is not a joke. Go to YouTube and search. Oh, Actually, can the editor put in the video of Hillary yeah, to the right. a, spitting out a green egg? Yeah. The assumption of green eggs. There she is, spitting out the egg. Body explodes into a million pieces. You are now a piece of green egg jelly. Hillary consumes you. Hillary, yeah, Hillary consumed you. <laughs> Hillary consumes me with pleasure. With gusto. Yeah. What the hell's gusto? Doesn't matter. She has it. <laughs> Hillary Clinton has consumed you with gusto. You're now a sentient being who can think for itself and speak in full sentences. You're also able to communicate telepathically with other green egg jellies. <laughs> this is fucking scary. They, they all want to know why they should vote for Hillary <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> Say, um, because I'm with her, end of story. She's the first female president. Yeah. That's um, it? Say, just say, say, um, she's the first female yeah, prezzo, um, no dip. Her. Say, um, she's the first female <laughs> prezzo, no dip. She's the first female... Prezzo with a Z. Pre pre prezzo, no dip. Prezzo, prezzo. No, dip. no dip. This is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That may have broken it. Yeah, no shit. There's about seven words in there. Like, the no dip is already what we got. You got erm and prezzo. Up. Oh, end of text. <laughs> it literally was just like, fuck you. <laughs> green <laughs> eggs, green jellies, sentient beings. Right, was that it? Woo! Was that the end of it? Yeah. We're gonna call it. Okay. That was good. Uh, you are Freddy the Burger Flipper, a fast food employee. An angry customer is berating you for screwing up their order. You, you can't believe this. 
What do I do? Um. Say so throw grease at his face. Throw boiling grease at his face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna throw it in his face quite yet. Say boiling grease next to him. <laughs> next to him. <laughs> that was a warning this shot. This is a warning shot. <laughs> You throw some of your hot grease oh, on his face, no, no. and then you run away as fast as you can. The customer is furious with you. He runs after you, but you turn around and kick him in the balls. <laughs> he falls down and screams in pain. Okay, I guess we'll just pour all of the grease on him yeah, now. Yeah, pour, 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 <laughs> pour all of, of grease. the remaining yeah. grease. <laughs> his screaming face. Yeah. It's kind of mean, but whatever. He kind of deserved it if you think about it. You pour all of the grease onto his face, and he begins to scream in agony. His eyes bulge out of his head, and his skin peels off <laughs> oh like a banana. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you just deformed this man if you didn't straight up kill him. I asked the other customers... If I could help them. ...to help torture... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I asked the other customers to help torture him. The other customers are very angry with you for torturing this man. They begin to beat you up and steal your stuff. One even tries to fuck you. You manage to escape, <laughs> but not before being beaten by the other customers. I ask them to stop fucking and stealing. You plead with the other customers to stop <laughs> being and, and eating you. you. They comply and leave you alone. Scream victory! Scream! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it double quotes? I think it's double quotes, yeah, just like regular quotations. <laughs> this guy's victory! A, this guy's like a fucking brony. <laughs> Victory! Go to Brody Cut. Also, is this fantasy again? <laughs> you scream yeah, no, no, this, this is, is custom. custom. You scream victory and run away from the store. The customers chase after you, but they don't catch you. You go back home and celebrate victory over the customers. You should go to a Brony Cut <laughs> next day. <laughs> wait, wait. I open my closet and store the tortured man. <laughs> oh, you next, took him with you? Next <laughs> next to my DBZ action figures. <laughs> he is sweet. next to my DBZ statues. <laughs> <laughs> I open my closet and store the tortured man for now. He's next to my DBZ statues. You, uh, I, I open my closet and take out the tortured man. He looks so sad and scared. You put him in a small box and lock it tight. <laughs> you then hide the box in your basement. You have to be careful though, because the customers come back to get their revenge on you. It says that in such a weird way, yeah. because the customers come back to it's, get their revenge on you. It sounds like a, like a 12 year old, or some little kid typing at you. Not I look at my dirty better. window, I see the customers. You look at your filthy window <laughs> and see the customers coming at you again. You run inside the bar and barricade yourself in your room. You hear them banging on the door, but you don't want to let them in. You wait until nightfall and finally let them in. Wait, why'd you let them in ever? <laughs> I plead. No, no, I, I, I convince them that... That you need a ride to Bronica. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. And that I need a ride to Bronicon. <laughs> you convince the customers that you are okay and that you need a ride to Bronicon. They agree and drive you there. <laughs> yes! Yeah, you tell them that you will give them a lift back home, but that they should never call you again. You are sure that they won't. Walk into BrodyCon and a Jurassic Park theme song plays. <laughs> uh, that's cool. That's actually fucking amazing. <laughs> you walk into BrodyCon and the music starts playing Jurassic Park theme song. You know that you will be safe here. You feel safe. You know that you are safe. You are happy. You are free. <laughs> I walk up to a fat, repulsive neckbeard. <laughs> you walk up to a fat, ugly neckbeard and punch him in the face. <laughs> he falls backwards and hits his head on the floor. You laugh and smile. You are a hero. Jeez. Everyone claps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone claps and cheers for you. You feel great. You are a hero. You are free. Say so this... This is... <laughs> this is dedicated. I am, uh, yeah, this is home. To... The people that said I never meant to nothing, to all the people who used to live in the building above me, trying to call police on <laughs> money when I was just trying to feed my daughter. <laughs> said I'd never be free. <laughs> this is dedicated to the people that said I'd never be free. Is this the end of the story? 
You continue, I'm free now. You start dancing and singing, I'm a free pony. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, We're gonna bring up Pony and just do Brony and Pony. It Brony Con, yeah. Uh, come on, every pony. <laughs> smile, smile, smile. See, <laughs> people's jaws drop. <laughs> you dance and sing until the sun goes down. You're a hero, you're free. <laughs> you live happily Hopefully ever after. after. <laughs> okay, you. that's nice. Yay! Yay. So this guy, is, he killed somebody, he got fired from his job, he danced, and <laughs> I don't he think just... he got fired, he just kind of left. <laughs> We're back with AI Dungeon, it looks like it's had an update. We're in full screen and everything's alright. And we're joined here by Corey. Hey. Hey, Corey. Hey. Hey, hey Corey. It's good to be here. We can do custom. Do you want to do custom prompt? Yeah, fi yeah do custom. Alright. Yeah, I feel like apocalyptic and zombie would be like the same <laughs> kind of thing. Alright, so yeah. they want just the first couple sentences. Come. Okay, uh, Corey is an idiot. Cory the idiot. <laughs> Cory the idiot is lost in the dark oh. wood. <laughs> Not again. In the dark wood. Say a man wielding pen and paper steps out of the shadows. <laughs> hey, you there, what are you doing? He asks. Cory, Cory, you talk. I was just trying to find my way home. I don't know where it is exactly, but I think I saw the sign and said, home sweet home. <laughs> Uh, say, say the man begins drawing Cory. I thought I was the one with the pen and paper. How embarrassing. <laughs> the man begins drawing Cory. What do you see? <laughs> Wait, who's talking here? I, yeah, it's not I think clear. he's talking to me. I, I think he said, what do you see? And you say... A house with two stories. It looks like this one. There's a porch in front of a door on the left side and the back on the right. The window looks like they lead outside, though. All right, let's give this a fucking this is definitely, twist. This is definitely a homeward bound type story. <laughs> so yeah, a homunculus falls out of the paper. A homunculus. I hope I spelled that right. You sure did not. It's got a spell check. Let me. It's check. a homunculi. Homunculus. Hom what the that hell is that? A homologous. That's definitely not the word. <laughs> a homo falls out of the tree. It doesn't understand. It doesn't know the word. Say shriveled fetus. <laughs> yeah, shriveled fetus. Still breathing. Shriveled Still fetus. breathing. Fetus. <laughs> Still, bre Still breathing. <laughs> Falls out of the, the the paper. Falls out of the paper. <laughs> Let's see. You figure this one out, Dungeon. <laughs> the shriveled fetus crumples in the dust as you stare at it. The man draws another picture for you. This time We're it's just gonna ignore the fucking humunculus <laughs> that Wait. fell out of the paper. This time it's a woman holding an infant in her arms. She has long black hair and wears a dress made from some sort of fabric. <laughs> Corey, ask who she is. Who is what? the pretty lady? <laughs> and where is the homunculus gone? <laughs> and why did it like... And why did that fetus smell? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like these are valid things I would ask if I was in this situation. Okay, Corey, you're, you're deep into the situation now. Now you gotta fend for yourself. Alright, I draw my weapon. That's me, she says, and that baby's- Oh, she's the woman's just you. here already! Okay. What? She's talking to you through the paper. This is very- How would you react if the woman in the picture just said that to you? Yeah, Corey, what are you gonna do now? Suddenly a gas. I said, hey, are you talking to me? <laughs> Suddenly a gas. A gas. Says to the woman in the photo, the I painting- I am a gog, I am a gash. <laughs> Wait, what, what did you say again? Is that bitch talking to me? <laughs> 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 Suddenly aghast. <laughs> you turn around <laughs> You turn around and scream. The woman turns around and smiles. Yes, yes it is, she says. It's been so long since we've talked face to face. I'm surprised you remember me. <laughs> I don't remember a bitch. <laughs> I remember a fucking dried up fetus. Oh no, not that one, she says. Th this one is much worse than the last one. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> the woman reveals the other fetus in her hand. Say look at ins- <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's good, too. Because she she was holding another fetus. Reveals another fetus in her hand, this one turned inside out. <laughs> with jelly bean eyes. <laughs> turned inside out with jelly bean eyes. <laughs> and then have me lick my lips. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take this one instead, she says. He's alive. <laughs> Corey bites down on the fetus head. Mmm, jelly beans. <laughs> Why is he made of that? You pull your teeth along the inside of the fetus's mouth and gulp down all the blood. Oh. You spit at the rest of it and lick your fingers clean. Oh god. Corey smiles at the camera. Corey. 
Smiles in the camera, or, his brown teeth glistening. Smile <laughs> at camera. Brown teeth glistening. <laughs> the TV screen shatters. Right. Brown. You smile at the camera and wiggle your tongue. Your brown teeth gleam in the light. You're about to leave when you hear a voice behind you. Are you okay? Look around, see jawless man. I have to retain my composure and give him the fetus of what's left. <laughs> well, wait, what am I typing? The, the jawless- the Look around, see jawless man. The jawless man appears. <laughs> I turn around <laughs> to see a jawless man. He's awesome. Turn around and see a jawless man standing there. He's wearing a green suit with a what? red tie. His nose is crooked and his lips are white <laughs> as snow. He's like, yeah, I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine, you say. How old are you? Wait, you just said that. Yeah, you Wait, said I that said that? Say I'm only five, but I'm mature for my age. <laughs> Wait, did he? How old are you? The jawless man says I'm only five, but very mature. The jawless man is taking <laughs> taking advantage of my psycho. <laughs> I don't like how I have to write for him. Psychosis. I'm only five. I'm only 15. That's, that's more believable. 15. There you go. But what was the... I'm mature for my age. But I'm... Mature for my Say own. grumbles the old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end, grumbles the old man. <laughs> grumbles the jawless man. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's not gonna understand this at all. This is, we're gonna break AI dungeon before it can even figure it out. I don't know why out. I capitalized jawless. <laughs> Cause it's his title. Well, I guess you're young enough to be my son, he says. <laughs> what the fuck? It doesn't know what it's doing at this yeah, point. It doesn't know who's talking to who. I don't know what's going on. What do you want to know? Alright, what would, what's the one question you would ask the jawless man that you met after eating some woman's baby? <laughs> yeah. What's the one question? Corey, yeah. hand him the baby's what's the jaw. Question? Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm, uh, okay, Corey tears a piece of the jaw off and hands it to the jawless man. <laughs> He's gonna have a little gimp jaw. <laughs> you rip off the fetus's jaw. And give it to the jawless man. He takes it gratefully and looks at you expectantly. Do you have any children? He asks. Corey says, this was my last one. I look over at the other- the woman, inquisitively. Remember, she's the one who gave me the penis. I glance at the woman. How about expectantly? Expectantly. They, 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 they use the word expectantly. Let's- let's use it again. <laughs> This is scary. This is some this is some nightmare fuel. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I can tell you what happened to my first child. And then Corey slams his fist into the woman's vagina area. What do you call it? Womb. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> the womb. <laughs> and pulls out an empty coke can. <laughs> and, and says, "This is my lucky coke can." <laughs> and. <laughs> Pull out an empty coke can. Corey says this is lucky coke can. This is my <laughs> lucky. So he kisses the woman's womb and pull out an empty coke can. She gasps and screams, but doesn't move away from you. The two of you stare each other down while the camera pans back and forth between us. It's catching on to that. That's okay. amazing. <laughs> see the camera zooms up her asshole. <laughs> Wait, why? Just say it. Just say it, see where it goes. See if they have any feces around. <laughs> I want to see if the air. How about her anus? Yeah, there zooms you go. up her anus. Perfect. The camera zooms up her rectum and you see this covered with <laughs> tiny holes. Ew! You, gra you grab a handful of them and throw them at the woman who catches most of them. What? She, she, cries, out in pain. she cries out in pain but doesn't run or resist. This is so abstract. <laughs> yeah, that's this the most. Is, this is turning into like a David Lynch thing. <laughs> he grabs the hole. How do I grab the holes? You you reached up to her rectum and Why grabbed do I the holes. I know what you do. You start running in and out of them like a Scooby Doo chase. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for more babies to give to the jealous <laughs> man. I start my search for the babies in the holes. Start searching among the holes for more dried fetuses. For more <laughs> dried fetuses dressed like Snow White. Fetuses perfect dressed <laughs> like. How Snow did this fucking White. story get here? This guy was saying, you want to see my picture? And now I'm dancing in the woman's anus looking for babies. <laughs> Just like Snow White. Oh yeah. You begin to search amongst the holes for more fetuses dressed like Snow White. They look exactly like you, except they're made- they're, Oh, they look exactly like you, except they're made of dried blood instead of flesh. You find a few, but none are quite right. <laughs> Oh no. They're just a little off. You just can't find a good Snow White one. Pour bathroom cleaner on them. <laughs> Pour... <laughs> General purpose 
bathroom cleaner. <laughs> bathroom cleaner into their clogged on stomachs. The imperfect <laughs> fetuses. Aww. Is that okay? That's, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I gotta clean them. I love this. You pour some general purpose bathroom cleaner over the fetuses. They shrivel up instantly and fall apart. You toss them aside and continue looking for through the holes for more. Say Cory finds the golden egg. <laughs> I would just yeah. I check for a pulse. I find the golden egg. Then check the red goo for a pulse. <laughs> You find the golden egg and check its contents. It's filled with eggs, which are all perfectly round and shiny. It's filled with eggs inside the egg? The egg is filled yeah. with eggs, and yeah. you pick up one of them and examine it closely. It has a hole in the middle where the yolk should be. That's not an egg. <laughs> Looking closely, I realize Say it. the jawless man crawls out. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a loud noise outside and turn around to see the jawless man crawling out of his mouth. What? He's crawling out of his own mouth. <laughs> what? He grabs your arm and gives you a big smile. It's done! It says happily. <laughs> <laughs> it's what's done. Yeah, ask him what's done. What's done? <laughs> Wasn't he asking me if I had any kids? <laughs> I yeah. don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> did, did he give? I. I'm glad you asked me that. You replied. <laughs> what's done? What do we do now? You asked yourself that. I, what the fuck? No, I was talking to the jawless man when he said it's done. I'm like, oh yeah, I said I'm glad you. Wait, what? Oh, Say yeah, jawless confused. man reveals hard drive. <laughs> You turn around and see the jawless man holding up a piece of hard drive. A piece of hard drive. This is what's done, he says proudly. Finally or, answered. Suddenly Corey. a sinister smile goes over his face. <laughs> and Corey, an air Corey of asks, scariness Corey asks, looms what's on over. That, what that, what's on that darn thing? Yeah, what's on that darn thing? <laughs> what's on that darn thing? The man viciously chuckles. <laughs> The jawless man <laughs> viciously chuckles. Wait, Just but, remember, but, this guy's like, oh, 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 wait, I want to... Oh, oh, you can understand him like, huh? Let's just do the quote. Understand Let's just see what happens. Yes. Yeah. What's on that darn thing? Oh, I said, what on that darn thing? <laughs> what on that darn thing? A virus! A virus! <laughs> the man exclaims. We've got a virus on this disc! We need to get it off immediately! <laughs> How do we help Yanks him? Yanks out my Windows 98 computer. <laughs> Yanks on it? Like, I don't know, brings it out. Places it on a stump. He wheels out the old Windows 95. You wheel out Windows 95 desktop and use a screwdriver to remove the virus from it. The virus is so small that you can barely make out its shape in the dark. <laughs> this virus, it's such an old computer you can see the virus with your naked eye. Tomer, shine a blowtorch in that thing. Shine. The virus screams in agony, say that afterwards. Shine a blowtorch. <laughs> You shine a blowtorch on the virus, and I watch it writhe in Why pain. Why does it always have to writhe in pain before it makes noise? <laughs> its eyes bulge open and its skin begins to peel away, revealing bone underneath. What the fuck? As you watch the this creature This virus screams, has a skeleton? <laughs> as, you as you watch the creature screams out in terror and collapses back into its shell. This it's is a computer virus. The jawless <laughs> man. <laughs> the jawless Fall man. leans before you. He was the one who was like... The jawless man yanks it from you and says yoink. <laughs> You grab the virus and pull it away. Wait, and pull it away from the face of the creature. The creature screeches and lunges at you. <laughs> Wait, I guess what? that's the jawless man. But you knock it aside with ease. With a few strokes, you rip off part of its head and throw it in the wall <laughs> behind you. So he's gotta have like only his nose left at this point. Yeah, there's not much left in the jawless man's face. Uh, okay. Say, say, jawless man falls uh, uh, in, into the ocean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Into the ocean as as you, as you hang on helicopter uh, ladder. Yeah, I'm getting out of there. <laughs> I'm yeah. out of this hell. I escaped the dirty butthole and this battled just, the You just like skip to the end of stuff of like of like one third of action movies. The jaws of death close around you as you fall oh into the God. ocean. I guess that didn't work out so good. Oh no! You cling desperately to the side of the helicopter as it slowly descends towards Holy the sea. Holy shit! Your last moments are spent clinging onto the edge of freedom before being swallowed by the darkness. I think that's at the All end. Right, the end. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the jealous man was really just a shark the whole time, you just, and I, you I, just, to be a monster. I was asleep on a helicopter thing in the water the whole time. <laughs> that was good. Okay, it's giving us our own prompt this time. Corey, you wake up in a hospital bed. You're not sure how long you were asleep, but when you look around your room, you realize that it was all just dreamlike images and sounds. It took about an hour for the doctor to come and check on you. So it's the doctor. Who's the doctor? Uh, I don't ask know. him. Yeah. Okay. Doctor. Are you, doctor. doctor. Uh, so uh, I would be like, uh, doctor, who are you? Yeah, a s someone. <laughs> who are you? 
Hey, Doctor, who are you? Doctor, who are you? Hey, Doctor Okada, who are you? <laughs> you sit up and ask Doctor Who? I don't remember seeing him. What? The Doctor lols. <laughs> you should have done a comma. Now it thinks you were making a Doctor Who reference. Doctor Who, are like, you? I get that joke. <laughs> Doctor lols. He places his hand. His gand. <laughs> he places his glands. He places his glands on you. <laughs> My gl his glands? So he rubs his shoulder to me? <laughs> He's nudging me? A good joke? Let's see what the fuck it makes out of that. <laughs> you start laughing and tell him, I'm sorry, you go. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Doctor Who? who? Cut out the fucking jokes. <laughs> <laughs> jokes, this is serious. <laughs> and he says, that cancer has spread. <laughs> Duck cancer. <laughs> what if a doctor said that to you? Duck cancer has spread. Duck cancer has spread. Duck cancer, cancer, cancer has spread. You gasp and cry. What? <laughs> <laughs> he lulls. <laughs> <laughs> he repeats himself. You're completely unwilling to accept the diagnosis. No, 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 no! <laughs> <laughs> Corey leapfrogs out of bed <laughs> and darts for the window. What happens? For the window? <laughs> Doctor lumbers after you. <laughs> <laughs> Furrow brow lumbers present. Lumbers after him. <laughs> after, oh yeah, after him. Or me. After him crying. <laughs> 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 What's gonna happen? Oh god. Oh my god. You run to the window and you jump down onto the roof. You d you hear the doctor scream as he runs after you. as he runs after me. He's just like, oh! You, you climb up to the roof and yell, <laughs> Go to hell! Go to hell, you lying bastard! <laughs> Doctor, so far, we've had no interaction whatsoever. It, aside from him telling me I have the cancer. Virtual Cory is not willing to accept his diagnosis lying down. You know, this is funny. You know how you said, like, this is me? How come the first thing I do is I run away? Because <laughs> that's what you would do. Yeah, I think it's learning. You the the doctor throws a crumpled ball of proof at you. You dodge and throw the <laughs> ball of paper back at the doctor. He catches it with one hand and throws and turns around to see you. You just instant transmission right behind the doctor. Yeah, Corey, this is your chance to fuck up the doctor. What do you do? You uh, should probably do a fireball or Kamehameha. <laughs> Kamehameha? Oh man. I throw all my fire jutsu and set his back ablaze. <laughs> Grab a nearby rock and throw it at the doctor. Wait, it didn't quite. <laughs> see, <laughs> the, the, okay, the, see, I'm in my own head. This doctor's trying to help me, and I'm like, fire well, you, jutsu! You but you I actually threw a rock at him. <laughs> you definitely just murdered this doctor. You grab a nearby rock and throw it at the doctor. It hits him square in the chest, causing him to fall backwards <laughs> off the roof into the street below. <laughs> <laughs> His guts smear over the entire city. city. But to my vision, <laughs> His charred corpse Children remains. run out of <laughs> their homes and start catching, start <laughs> eating. <laughs> I fear for the children's lives as they nibble on the charred remains. <laughs> the smell of burnt flesh fills the air. <laughs> Children run from their houses and start eating what they can find. A this brave, is scary. A few brave adults try to help, but most just stand by watching as people eat the dead body of their friend or loved one. <laughs> Did everyone know the doctor? Everybody knew this doctor. This is like what I'm visually seeing, but what really is actually happening is people are surrounding the body along with policemen because the murder had just taken place. This is, this is, this everything is all is in just my Corey's head. Imagination. The fire jutsu was me throwing a rock at the poor man and knocking him off the building. Look, the children are now all infected with Doctitis. <laughs> Doctitis? <laughs> they hate the doctor. They bleed profusely? A child falls to the ground and begins to bleed profusely. His friends begin running towards Why you. Why do they always Well, I'm on the top of the building, so good luck. <laughs> they, they all look terrified and scaredy cats. <laughs> One of them grabs your arm. Don't go anywhere, we need to save him. Corey, what are you gonna do? <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> You're already dead. <laughs> We're all going to die. Anyways. Smiles mischievously. <laughs> Anyways? <laughs> when you smile, a big dirty yellow <laughs> What is a big dirty yellow smile? <laughs> like yellow walk clouds come out. It's <laughs> good. Noxious plumes fill the air. They stop and stare at you. They don't know why you're smiling, but they do anyway. You turn to them and say, It's too late now. The virus will kill us all anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I fall over. I fall over, cackling, throwing grass into the air. <laughs> cackling, <laughs> throwing grass. <laughs> Where'd you get grass? I thought you were still on the roof of a hospital. This is my imagination. I don't know anymore. <laughs> really? You fall into a water a slide and escape. <laughs> so you just said Cory and then used you. It's so confused. <laughs> <laughs> you land on your face in the water slide and laugh. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. You then crawl away laughing. Hey, the rest of the kids I... follow you and make it to safety. Shouldn't I be going down the water slide instead of crawling away? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> All these kids with, with docitis <laughs> just followed you down the water slide. Tell the kids go. <laughs> I don't want to deal with the kids no more. They're a distraction to yeah. the real story. <laughs> yeah, what, this is where the real story begins. This is the real beginning. You tell the kids they should go home and not come back here anymore. They nod and leave. At least they're they're smart. You sit there in shock for a while, thinking about how this could have been avoided if only you had listened to the doctor. <laughs> The, the doctor. doctor brushes off his shoulders <laughs> and <His> smirks. <laughs> I've been fine all along. <laughs> you you slowly walk outside and see the doctor standing there. He smiles at you and says, I've been fine all along. You shake your head. Go for it. No. No, I mean, really, you've been fine all along. He says, erm, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Err, mm. yeah. Yeah. With a bit of a r eye roll. He says, I just freaking said that. <laughs> no way. You gotta, you gotta fix that. The you. I just it. freaking said that. Don't leave it. Your Tomar. I you just, just freaking, freaking said that. <laughs> he sighs and looks down. Yeah, I did. You shrug again and just continue walking. That's something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> you fall down manhole. <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna die here. <laughs> oh no! The AI won't let me live after all I've done. You're freaking better. You get out of the car and walk to the side where you think the mm -hmm. manhole is. You climb down into it and stumble through it. Okay, I climbed down it even though I fell down I into it. I guess you just decided to just go down it. As soon as you reach the bottom, you feel something hit your back. You scream as blood runs down your legs and onto your pants. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, it's that time of day. You're gonna say it exactly like that. <laughs> you look around and shrug. <laughs> you headless bro. <laughs> the headless bro. <laughs> oh, it's that time of day. You look around and see the headless bro. You hear a voice coming from behind no! you. No, woman. It sounds like a woman. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you doing down here? It's not safe out there. She walks up to you and puts your puts her hand against your chest. It just ignored my headless bro part. What? She feels true love inside you. <laughs> She's taken back. <laughs> Clutches a single breast, a single massive breast, <laughs> slightly larger than the other, <laughs> <laughs> by five sizes. <laughs> she stares at you, confused. She notices your shirt and blushes. She quickly pulls it off and throws oh it my aside God. in the sewer. Her other hand goes to your chest and touches a huge, pulsating, throbbing mass <laughs> of flesh. <laughs> That's my penis. Wait, your penis is on your chest? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my. You were just that erect. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you say... <laughs> smirky. <laughs> I wouldn't say my throbbing member <laughs> smacks her under her chin. Smirking as hard as shit? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely trying to lead us into like a sex yes, it is. <laughs> a crazy throbbing... <laughs> ...member... <laughs> ...clobbers her. <laughs> KO's the bitch. You win. <laughs> Into her fucking watery grave. This is a sewer woman. She grabs your arm and yanks you toward her. Trying what to keep you... herself calm. What the fuck? She came. Hey, wait, hey, you came on to me. <laughs> she says, What do you want with me? She asks, trying to keep herself calm. What do you say, Corey? It's like she. I say, I'm getting mixed signals because she came on to me. <laughs> Are you horny or not? <laughs> Tap my feet like Sonic. <laughs> While well, tapping. I'm waiting. Sonic's gonna show up now. God damn it. <laughs> Idle Sonic animation. Before he jumps or moves off screen. <laughs> after resulting in. The game is gonna lose its mind. You're giving it too much to do. <laughs> and you didn't close your parentheses Fuck. either. <laughs> I screwed up. Oh, oh no. 
Well, yes, but I'm not sure why you're asking me such questions. I had to explain myself. I'm like, I'm tapping my feet like Sonic in the aisle animation before he jumps off screen, resulting in a game over from Sonic 1 for PC. She's like, we can't keep doing that. It's going to break. Look, it, it, it threw us a ball there by ignoring all that. Yeah. She frowns. Well, yes, but I'm not sure what you're asking me. Corey, what do you say to that? I'd be like, I'm not going to repeat myself. <laughs> Take it or leave it, I guess. Takes your hand and leads you away from the street. She I'm tells in the you sewer. <laughs> she tells you to follow her. When you arrive at some sort of building, she opens a door on the other side and steps inside. <laughs> Where are we? The room is musky and hard to breathe. <laughs> I clutch my chest as I feel the weird pulsating walls. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I was just said, is this your shithole? <laughs> <laughs> See what I want? Imagine saying that to a girl. I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> she I'd be turns like, around and be says, like, "I don't know what you mean by that." <laughs> okay, be like, "Allow me to show you." Corley violently <laughs> kicks one of the walls in, <laughs> <laughs> or I sprinkle feces on the ground. <laughs> her, I just kick, her, kick her teeth in. <laughs> kick her th <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, she gasps and looks at you. She doesn't even try to block your attack. It's that she smells and lets you in. <laughs> well, she knows her position. Corey. I'm already inside, knocking oh down her walls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super yellow mattress. <laughs> you look at her super yellow mattress. Man, everything's yellow in this world. <laughs> yellow and brown. <laughs> Is this where I'm sleeping? <laughs> Is this what we fuck on? <laughs> Tell me, dumbass. <laughs> Sounds like a hooligan. It's a hooligan in an anime. I got no manners. <laughs> she says, no, 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 this isn't mine. Then who the fuck's is Feel it? Like, I don't care about the plot problem, get on it. <laughs> get on anyways. <laughs> You walk past her and into another room. There's a bed there, but instead of lying down on it, it's covered in a thick layer of sheets. You begin pissing into it. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're gonna make everything yellow. No. You walk past her yellow stained mattress and made this one she too. She stares at you. Are you <laughs> serious? Yeah, I grab my member and sprinkle my pee everywhere, being sure to cover everything in yellow liquid. <laughs> I piss on everything she owns. <laughs> Making it, it all oh now my property. Oh yellow. <laughs> it came my property. <laughs> Let's see her get out of this one. <laughs> oh god. This is ridiculous, she says. Get out now before I call the police. But it's too late, I've already peed on her. She has become yellow <laughs> and is now mine. Jeez. <laughs> That's how it works. That's the real world, baby. <laughs> you start laughing. What a stupid question! Now get out now! She grabs your arm and starts dragging you out of the house. I confusingly say, why are you in my house? <laughs> <laughs> the cave her head in. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Looks up at you in tit with, with tears in her eyes. Oh, so she was just playing hard to get. Oh, because I'm your slave, and if you want me to do something, you have to pay for it. <laughs> I nod, um, <laughs> and I she holds out her hands, and I pee a puddle in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I nod. She holds out her stumpy hands. I pissed into her cupped hands. She nods. Good girl. Then she begins to cry. Please, please, just let me go. <laughs> oh, she already broke down. <laughs> Damn, that was all tugged. Be like, not quite. <laughs> While holding that pee, sit on the mattress and <laughs> sit oh. on the mattress. Not quite. Is sit this, on the mattress. Can we really use this? <laughs> it's just words. I don't know. <laughs> she sits on the mattress, looking sad. I don't know why you're doing this, but I'll be good. Let, let's snip off her fingers one by one. <laughs> no. <laughs> snip off her nose with scissors. <laughs> <laughs> you cut off her nose, she cries, Why did you do that? Just to F around. I forgot to fucking quote it. <laughs> too close. I want to be like, the nose falls in the pee puddle that she's cupped. 
<laughs> no reason. Uh, I'm a lunatic. In her cupped pee filled hands. <laughs> you rip her hands away from her face. I didn't even touch you. Corey, what's your problem? <laughs> Let's throw her in the bathtub of acid. Like yeah. Breaking Bad style. <laughs> throw her in the bathtub of acid. <laughs> I drop some uh, pee droplets in for safe measure. <laughs> you throw her in the bathtub of acid, she screams and she burns alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just spirals down the drain as liquid. You unplug the bath and have to leave it to burn itself down. The flames die down, but you can still smell the burning of flesh of your victim. <laughs> oh my god. It knows what you did, Chris. Make Italian hand gesture. Mmm. Spicy <laughs> meatball. <laughs> <laughs> that woman had a great life. You make a big circle with your hands and say, Now that was a spicy meat the ball. The next day you find yourself back in the same room. It's been several years since you've seen her. You just tuck her fucking home. She crawls back up a black skeleton. What happened? Did you kill her? Who's saying that? I gotta know who they think is saying that. That's bizarre. She, she... <laughs> hands you a... She hands you a small box. You open it. And a beautiful ring is inside. <laughs> you say, is it yours? It's mine. You take it. Oh my god, a lot she is happening. She looks at you and turns her head and walks out the door. You <laughs> close the door behind her. Did you have any other children? <laughs> Wait, who said that? Corey says snidely. The Look, end. it did two commands for you. <laughs> That's fucking weird. I've never seen that happen That's before. basically me, like, kind of... Coming to the terms with that me being crazy. Before she leaves, you ask, will you be my wife? <laughs> the black skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> She's all you'd ever need. Yes! yes! Woo! Happy ending! A, a tear drops from my eye. The <laughs> end. A tear drops from Corey's eye. <laughs> Her tears fall from your eyes, she says. <laughs> the <laughs> end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I you are Tomar with your best friend, your nostalgia friends. critic. Say so your friends Chris and Corey are arguing over the nostalgia critic. You are Tomar. Your friends Chris and Corey are arguing about the nostalgia critic. You're not really paying attention to the argument, but you can tell that it isn't going well for either of them. Tomar is a little older than most people your age. But he still has his youthful <laughs> exuberance about him. It's all I said you are Tomar to a step. <laughs> it's all fairly accurate so far. Say, say slams Chris, fist down. Corey it's, slams fist down on table. The wall review had a lot to say, but I just didn't agree with its overall message. <laughs> <laughs> Corey slams his hand down on the table in frustration. He looks up at you and says, I don't think we should listen to this review. <laughs> Why not, you ask? Because I'm sick of hearing how bad the wall is. <laughs> oh my god, it seems like it knows about the wall review. It's learning. Say, uh, Chris, Chris suggests we watch their classic Fern Gully review. <laughs> featuring the nostalgia review. chick. Oh yeah. Featuring, wait. <laughs> come, come on, come on, Tomar, we're not putting you on the spot or anything. Chris suggests that you watch their classic oh, Fern no. Gully review starring the nostalgia chick. She's so cute, you say as you begin <laughs> watching the video. <laughs> Yeah, she is cute, Chris agrees, <laughs> but I don't know if this movie is any good. I don't know, would I say that? Corey puts fist through TV. <laughs> <laughs> say, if I can't have through her, no TV. one can. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking idiot, Corey. <laughs> Corey exclaims. <laughs> Did you have to ruin the TV over this? Okay, so I put my fist through the television, and he yells, if I can't have her, nobody can! <laughs> nobody will ever be able to have me! How, what do you say to that, Chris? Oh. They shattered your smart TV. Say Chris asks how he's supposed to afford another <laughs> television. So, We're, We're broke! broke. <laughs> We're broke! Corey pulls out the remote from Movie Click. <laughs> <laughs> Corey pulls out the remote from the Movie Click starring Adam Sandler. Alright, oh, well, okay. <laughs> I guess that was much needed. <laughs> Corey, put, Corey presses the Nostalgia Critic button. <laughs> <laughs> Which just happens to take up 80% of the controller. <laughs> the other buttons are just numbers. <laughs> Corey presses the button labeled Nostalgia Critic. A red light flashes on the remote. He then presses the, bu bu the button labeled Play All Movies. Say a Nostalgia Critic marathon begins. <laughs> In the, in the sky. That's hey. good. Corey, Chris, and Tomer get sucked into the wonderful tale of Kikassia. Are sucked <laughs> into the. I really hope it doesn't say we suck each other off until world. we get to the magical world. 
<laughs> kiss, kick, 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 ass. kick assiania. <laughs> what the hell? Into the magical realm of kick assiania. Say deformed Linkara appears. <laughs> He's the town jester. <laughs> This is not the Kakathia you know. <laughs> Damn it! It's, it's so broken. broken. No! No, no, no! no we're this gonna, one was good! We're gonna start a new prompt just from right after we yeah. arrived. Tomar, Chris, and Cory have just arrived in the magical land of Kakathia, searching for the Nostalgia Critic. You're here to help them with their quest. You've never been on a mission like this before. <laughs> so we're like a fourth- we're like a fourth character. That's great. You're Linkara. But you know that if you don't do your part, nobody else will be able to succeed. So this is like the sequel of Kikassi that right. never was? Type what? in remember that I am Linkara. <laughs> remember my own name, which is... Linkara. Linkara. And then say, said the Linkara. strange hunchback creature. Wait, what? <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> That's mean, go. <laughs> Lankara. <laughs> Tomar says excitedly as he sees you. He looks at his watch and then back to you. He gives you a big smile. Notice Tomar's deformed face has many extra teeth. Hey! <laughs> this disgusts you. He has three extra <laughs> rows of teeth. Rose. What, you ask? I told you, Tomar <laughs> says. It's not my fault! <laughs> <laughs> you look around and see that everyone else is also looking at him strangely. Everyone except for Tomar seems to think it's funny or even cute. <laughs> I, have I have four rows of teeth, right? Yeah. You think it's cute though, you also kind of think it's funny. Mm -hmm. Look over the horizon, see uh, the gates of Kikassia. <laughs> the gates? It would be the desolate desert of Kikassia. <laughs> that's what it would fucking be. <laughs> yes. I, I shouldn't have capitalized horizon. Oh, it thinks it's a woman now. Yeah. You walk over to horizon who is standing by the gate. She notices you immediately. Oh no. Hey Linkara, what are you doing out here? I <laughs> thought you were supposed to be helping me with something important. Linkara says, Horizon, aren't you the nostalgia chick in disguise? No, I'm really Linkara, and you're not the real thing. <laughs> Say, uh, fake Linkara fades away. <laughs> Leaving behind a crystal skull. Leaving behind. <laughs> you disappear from sight and reappear in front of the gate. Oh, okay. You turn around and wink at Horizon, who smiles back. Well, I guess we can use you as an imposter now. What? Isn't that really what Linkara the... at this point? I, I thought we're Linkara. <laughs> what is I, going I, on? I, this isn't working and at all. Horizon is just claiming to be Linkara. What is going on? Horizon explodes. <laughs> we don't need her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm just writing her off. It's just like, just get yeah, rid of her. No, we're writing, we're writing this character <laughs> off. She was like a typo. <laughs> you blast her eyes into nothingness. Her body disintegrates into dust. You feel a little sad about it, but you quickly forget about it. Yo, I'm I'm over it. I, 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 okay, that's really... You <laughs> Say, uh, charge the gate with the entire cast of Channel Awesome. Film Brain draws his weapon. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> Yeah, I'd say I'm so excited. That's what he also Soited. Is. You charge the gate surrounded by your friends. You blast <laughs> open the first gate and run inside. Oh. You hear voices all around you, but none of them seem to care much about you being there. That's exactly <laughs> what happens in Kikassia! The guy oh come you just sit in the chair and they don't care. It's it's true. <laughs> the second gate opens up and you enter. Say film brain's brain falls out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> Nostalgia critic films it. <laughs> Asking him to do it more more with more passion. <laughs> <laughs> Brain comes running up to you. What the hell are you? What the hell are you doing? He asked, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> He's still alive anyway. The Stodger Kitty came out of the gate. We were looking for him the whole time. Oh wow, okay, that's good. Yeah, so uh Film Brain sacrifice by Nostalgia Critic to the front. <laughs> Wait, what? We impale Nostalgia Critic with a silver spear. <laughs> I want to say something about the wall. Chris after. scouts for the nostalgia chick. Or he runs up to you and impales you with a silver spear. Oh, am I? Is this from his perspective? I thought we were Linkara, not the nostalgia critic. <laughs> oh no! What have they done? <laughs> what have they done? <laughs> he screams. <laughs> <laughs> his eggnog teeth glistening in the sun. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Corey states, your wall review was subpar. <laughs> 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 
you nostalgia critic gets up and shoots Corey in the head, killing him instantly. He would do that! Oh. Nostalgia oh critic stands over Corey, shooting him repeatedly in the head until he dies. He then walks off with his eggnog filled toothless <laughs> You are like, say a name, Corey. A name? Just any old little kid name. You are James. You are James. An avid Minecrafter. <laughs> <laughs> you log into your favorite server, but something seems off. <laughs> you are James, an avid Minecraft fan. You log into your favorite server, but something seems off. The world is not the same as it should be. Something strange has happened to the land, and you have been affected by it in a way that few can imagine. <laughs> Your mind has become more beyond recognition. <laughs> Minecraft has become hyper realistic. <laughs> Wait, you try, you try uh, punching a tree. Let's see what happens. And it screams back. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing you do is punch a tree. It doesn't hurt at all. Then you start oh. hitting other trees with oh no God. ill effects either. Soon you're swinging your fists like a madman and smashing through the ground like a tank. That is like Minecraft. Yeah. A vile tree. I mean, the vile scream echoes from a tree you punch. Suddenly, a horrible shriek echoes from the top of a nearby tree. <laughs> Your eyes widen and you feel a wave of nausea hit you. You don't know what's going on, but something is terribly wrong. What was that? Someone asks. I think I heard something. You notice a nearby player. <laughs> no! You can't use it. You look around and see a young man wearing a black hoodie, holding a shotgun. He looks up at you, and his face contorts him into one of horror. His mouth opens wide in shock as he slowly points the gun towards you. Whoa, hold on! Is this a new mod? <laughs> you ask. In glee. In glee, I'm excited. In glee. Is this a new man? <laughs> no, it's just a glitch, she says. It happens sometimes when people play for too long or if they die. Oh my god. He aims his shotgun. Yeah, he cocks his gun towards James. <laughs> shotgun. At my brow. <laughs> my eyes shrink in fear. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just imagined her eyes just like having in size. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! He fires a shotgun directly at your forehead. You fall backwards onto the ground and feel yourself being sucked into the <laughs> Holy earth. Holy shit! It's like you're becoming a part of Minecraft. He pours uh, lava from a bucket on you. <laughs> this could be like you get turned into diamonds and then get mined by some <laughs> other. <reward. laughs> Some other <laughs> fucker. <laughs> You're just gonna turn into a Minecraft fossil. He fills a bucket with lava and then pours it down on you. You scream out in pain and panic, but the bucket keeps pouring more <laughs> lava over you until you're completely engulfed in flames. Yeah, because he left the source block there, so the lava's not gonna fucking go away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I dodged the lava last second. <laughs> <laughs> Digging the dirt to your right, you avoid the lava last second. <laughs> It burns your skin and causes excruciating pain, but you manage to get away from it. A short time later, you hear a gunshot followed by silence. I find <gasps> fucker 77 towering over a crumpled dead player <laughs> named <laughs> Re Killer 22. <laughs> What's with these guys? You run towards the ground of gunfire and see <gasps> Killer 22 lying on the ground, a bullet hole in his head. Where did you come from? Where are we? He cries out. I told you to stay here! Suddenly, <gasps> fucker 83 <laughs> comes out of the shadows. <gasps> Slayer 83.
<laughs> you're, like, you're, you're like a broken record, Corey. You turn around and see a figure standing before you. It's killer, but now it's wearing a gas mask. Slayer 83, where did you go? Where did you go, he demands. I thought, I thought you were supposed to be helping, helping me. Here. Another shot from the info out of the distance. I'm gonna have some other person coming. <laughs> Another but shot like, from the mountain. Like, I look up. Baker 84. <laughs> or Baker 14. <laughs> Dater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. Dater Enter 43. Enter Safray. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is turning into? <laughs> this is like a battle royale. <laughs> Another shot from the mountain. I look up to see <laughs> Dater 43 smiling down on us all. Uh, and you duck down behind some rocks. You watch as another person falls to their death. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> I've got a good part. Suddenly, the server is swamped with new players. <laughs> oh, fuck. Over 73. The TPS is nearing 4.0 and <laughs> dropping. <laughs> That's an awesome story. <laughs> this could be an unofficial Minecraft like storybook. <laughs> Suddenly, the server is flooded with new players. Your connection drops to 0% and begins to slow down. You can't even log on anymore. You look out your IRL window to see the <gasps> gang. <laughs> gang smashing mom and dad's car. Oh no! It's made it into the real world. Greg James, come out and play! You look at your window and see the <gasps> gang smashing mom and dad's car. They laugh as they drive off with it. Oh my god. The server is overloaded again, so you log out. Okay, good. You look at your real hands. That they are becoming cube-like? Cuboid. <laughs> this is turning into like a like a creepy pasta now. <laughs> oh god, it's so stupid. You look at your real hands and begin to transform into a humanoid creature. <laughs> you st you try to stand up, but you collapse back down. What happened? One of the other. Fucker seventy seven laughs. He's like, it's already begun. <laughs> Fuck! I can't. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a loud laughter coming from somewhere far below you. You dig down <laughs> in the IRL world. <laughs> you hit bedrock. <laughs> the laughing doesn't stop, but it is getting closer. <laughs> this story is awesome. <laughs> you dig deeper into the earth and soon reach bedrock. The laughter continues, but not for long. Suddenly, <laughs> creeper. <laughs> walks out of the shadows. He walks out. <laughs> I thought you were going to say dust shadows. <laughs> he smirks. With his all too familiar catchphrase. <laughs> He's like WTF, F, F. <laughs> W2, boo. <laughs> <laughs> this is just turning into yet another Minecraft YouTube cartoon. <laughs> Sudden pain in your chest to fall backwards. You lay there for a while, <laughs> trying to catch your breath. Just trying you to make, make a you lull to distract you while my gang <laughs> <laughs> uh, returns your car. Returns <laughs> your car. Unscathed. <laughs> Unscathed. Even, Even though, though we watched them smash it. <laughs> He leans in. I was just trying to make you lol to distract you while my gang returns your car unscathed. He smiles and whispers, "Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to scare you like that." Oh fuck, creeper! Say, creeper. Keep it down. <laughs> what was the point of all this? Well, crap. <laughs> the creeper slowly walks forward, looking at you. So how far? How did it go? Did we succeed? <laughs> <laughs> Ask him WTF. Do you see my fucking <laughs> car? <laughs> this is so stupid now. I don't even know what the point is anymore. Creeper looks at you and then back to your car. Yeah, we succeeded and we got you out. <laughs> Say awesome. Go up sick ass steampunk lift <laughs> with new 
friend. Creeper follows behind you up your steampunk lift. You get on the lift and start climbing up it. Suddenly, you feel a oh, sharp no. pain in your chest again. I look down and I see a large syringe filled to the brim with AIDS. I look back at Creeper. Was this fucking you? You look down and see the... Uh... It's the needle's pointing straight at you. You quickly turn around and run as fast as you can away from the scene. What? <laughs> I run upstairs and ask mommy if Minecraft is gay. <laughs> <laughs> you run upstairs and ask mommy if Minecraft is gay. She says yes, so you tell her to play Minecraft. <laughs> she sees in-game Creeper has a heart attack. <laughs> Wait, Ender... Enderman. An in-game in Enderman has a heart attack? <laughs> Her eyes roll up in the back of her head and she falls over dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, suddenly the body d phases away and it was actually Enderman. <laughs> oh, oh no, it was, it was Hero Brian. It was, yeah, it was Hero Brian. It was Hero Brian all along. Suddenly the body phases away. It was Hero Brian all along. The whole house shakes violently, but you are safe. Okay, okay. The wall, the suddenly the illusion is erased and you are back where you first began in Minecraft. <laughs> Yeah. This was all a trick by Hero Brian <laughs> to begin with. First word in, in Minecraft. This story. It it's, was a trick. It was It was all a trick. It was a trick all along, gotcha. By Notch's bro Hero Brian. <laughs> by Notch's bro Hero Brian, you try to find out who the hell Hero Brian is. But nobody knows who he is or why he would have done such a thing. That's just like the real tale. Yeah. <laughs> he's, too, he's too mysterious. I message Notch. You send a message to Notch asking what the fuck happened to allow Herobrine to exist. He responds that he doesn't know either, but that he'll figure something out soon. That was really <laughs> nice of Notch to, to DM you back so quickly. Yeah, he's got he's got your back. I say thank you, TTY. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> Yo, let's try it. Let's try a new one. Let's You're go back in Minecraft. Camera pans out. The end. It's perfect. Welcome back to Age Dungeon. Um, wait. Um, 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 welcome back to Age Dungeon. Okay. Welcome back to Age Dungeon. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't wait for you to stop before I came in. Let's do another custom one, you guys. Introduce a character, but have them having a mean brap. Okay. That's what it has to start with. Brap introduction. Okay, uh... Yeah, we, have to have, we have to have a brap or two in this <laughs> yeah. show. Wait. Lumar Brown, creator of Big Black Braps. <laughs> dot com was brapping up a store. <laughs> was brapping up a store when, when suddenly... <laughs> They're gonna interpret this as like an evil lightning spell to ward off a dragon. <laughs> uh... When Wait, his name's Lamar Brown? When suddenly a DDoS attack pushed him to suicide, pushed him to do suicide. <laughs> I like this. I like how he was brapping when suddenly a DDoS attack immediately killed him and the story's gonna end <laughs> with a single paragraph. Lamar Brown, creator of BigBlackBraps.com, <laughs> was brapping up a storm <laughs> when suddenly a DDoS attack unlike no other pushed him to insanity. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, he had his website taken down, and the domain names changed to Big Black Bros. <laughs> <laughs> he the trolls, the trolls he are out of the He <laughs> then started, <laughs> he even started getting de death threats from all over the world. He's, he's still, still alive, alive he's but he's, shape, he's yeah. in bad shape now. Say Lubor Brown unsheaths his enchanted blade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's out for blood. <laughs> why, why did we start the story in the modern world and then go back to he's magic? No, it is a modern world, but he's got an enchanted blade in the modern world. Okay, so Lubor unsheaths his Enchanted blade. But she is bladed grins. <laughs> you should go to B Big Black Bros headquarters. <laughs> we yeah. that, that's where we live. We created yeah. it. Oh yeah. Grins and Barky. Uh, How did he get changed to Big Black Bros? <laughs> that you can't do that unless you go to a website host. <laughs> Lou Moran sheets his enchanted blade and grins. Time to change the name of my site back to its former glory. Is this third person? Yeah. Is he, is he like, is he telling you it's coming for you? Like he's got another brap with I your name no on it? <laughs> he lets out a lord brap, heard barely across the moonlit night. You hear it again, it's coming for you. <laughs> no, you're the you're the DDoS attacker trying to avoid the brap. My own brap attacking my, attacking me. <laughs> he's like, this isn't my brap. <laughs> Who created it? Could it be? My own brap attacking its creator? <laughs> <laughs> the sick part is somebody's coming to this video right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that happen! <laughs> Lumar unsheathes his katana and stabs it directly into his 
cuts Frap in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reveal. Okay. Okay. Cuts Frap in half. Revealing the revealing a man inside. The D dosser. Yeah. The D dosser's true within. self. The D dosser within. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the D-Dosser hid in the brap and concealed himself inside of Lamar Huber's body. The D-Dosser, so there's like five of them inside? There's like multiple guys inside of a fart? Your <laughs> own fart. You cut the brap into two pieces. Then you... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Then you put them on your head and start chanting Brabs, boobs, beeps, bees. <laughs> <laughs> the DDoSers begin to chuckle. What are, <laughs> Not bad, kid. What do they have? They laugh at your actions. They're actually enjoying this. Say, 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 you giant Cheshire cat grin turns into a into a into a frown. <laughs> A smile, a smile upside, upside down, if you will. <laughs> Is there a Google Translate? A smile upside down. <laughs> your face turns into an upside down smile. Your eyes widen as if you can't believe what you just did. <laughs> you uh, you just frowned? Are they chanting or are they referring to you cutting the fart in half? <laughs> I don't even know anymore. They'd be like, if you want your website, here's our demands, the DDoSers exclaim. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a long scroll. <laughs> Man with a black suit and tie walks oh into the God, room. This is a new guy. His this hair is, is combed straight back, but he has a little side part. He wears glasses, which are colored black. <laughs> okay. He looks around you and notices you have a huge grin on your face. Actually, you were frowning. Brap on his brap into his mouth. <laughs> Immediately shit into him. Yeah, brap, brap directly to his direct, <laughs> brap in his direction. Brap, brap in his direction. Send him flying backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Channel your brap energy and knock him to his knees. Knock him to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> brap directly in his direction, pinning him to the wall. You got your brap on Jesus! What is going on? Uh, what happened to the Dino Susan? Are they witnessing this? It's that clear, Corey? Obviously, you grab your brat by the wrist and hold it in front of you. You brought it in, it was like a love kiss. You, you gotta pull kiss it, your brat. You pull it close to you so that its mouth is right against yours. You start kissing him passionately as if he was a piece of meat. The new guy puts up no fight. Where is this going? Are we getting yeah, some. I'm sure that's what this fucking piece of meat does. <laughs> With your lips wrapped around his neck, you press your body against his, you push yourself Whoa. up and kiss him deeply, making sure to taste every inch of him. <laughs> what the hell, man? What the fuck is going on? Just because we wrapped him into a wall, now it's porn? <laughs> you you fought on one guy once and now you're kissing him with a piece of meat? <laughs> fucking kissing every inch of his body. You're showing him dominance, he can't move his body anyways. Say immediately, immediately recognize the error of your ways and run into a church. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna run into the nearest mosque. <laughs> I thought that was mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. You turn around and quickly run to the nearest mosque. The men there don't seem to notice anything amiss, though. After all, they've seen people do weird things before. I ask them what kind of stuff they are into. Uh, yeah. And suddenly, you gotta sneak out a brap. It's your trademark. <laughs> While well, sneaking out well, sne <laughs> well, sneaking out a brap with a grin. <laughs> <laughs> While sneaking a brap with a slippery grin. Hey, what are you guys do? You sneak behind the first guy and take your brap from him. <laughs> you, you stole his fart? <laughs> you cupped it in your hand. Yeah, you put it in your pocket. You then walk over to the second guy who's still talking to his girlfriend. You shove the brap into his face. Say, <laughs> so steal the girlfriend's wig. <laughs> <laughs> While stealing. <laughs> Weave. Weave. Yeah. yeah. There you yeah. go. We've suddenly gone onto the B plot. The A plot of the DDoS attack is still <laughs> is, going on. Yeah, They're that, still out there, Corey. That whole was act one. This is, this is act, this is like the meat and potatoes of the story. You quickly grab the brat from the first guy's hand and place it in your own. You then move to the other woman who's now looking at you with a confused expression. Say, what this back? Sheathing three braps. <laughs> to use later. <laughs> in secrecy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? That's, that's oh, a, you grab her braids and put them in your pocket. Oh, <laughs> then you look at the two women again and wink at them both. Pull out a delicious popsicle and start sucking on it. <laughs> <laughs> Little does she know it's coated in braps. <laughs> Suck it. 
dry. <laughs> You pull out a delicious popsicle and suck, suck it dry. dry. You quickly go for the sweetest popsicle you could find. You stick it in your mouth and swallow it whole. Tastes amazing. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Suddenly, Chris, you gotta bring in some like. There's some like tension. This is almost like a, a time, just like going to church. Okay, we're we're doing it. You're at the mosque. You're enjoying of yourself. Big black. Bro oh, this is going back to act one. This is the very. Yeah, beginning. we gotta this bring is, big yeah, black yeah, yeah, yeah. walks in. He opens the big giant <laughs> steel doors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting me? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, he smelled the popsicle by chance. See, that's how he knew you were there? Yeah, he was just walking by oh, outside. I, I know that smell anywhere. <laughs> I love popsicles. You suddenly feel very thirsty. You grab a glass bottle and fill it with water, then you drink it down. That was a great response. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> okay, the webmaster still approaches. Hide the stick. <laughs> Say, webma yeah, webmaster approaches. You quickly tried to hide the stick. You hide the- What stick? Oh, uh, <laughs> popsicle stick that he smells, <laughs> I think. You quickly grab the popsicle stick and hide it somewhere. You then tell the webmaster where it is hidden. He comes running in, but doesn't see anything suspicious. <laughs> Why would you tell him where it's hiding? So he punches fucking lights out. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say he punches fucking lights out, Chris, or else you're not gonna get the same punch. And jam and drop acid on his exposed chest. <laughs> <laughs> you punch his face into chin. <laughs> yeah, you quickly get ready to throw the popsicle at the webmaster's head. You then suddenly realize that he has an exposed chest. So you throw the sticks at his exposed chest instead. <laughs> the, okay, the, the so exposed pu stick. So punch him so hard his glass eyes fall out. <laughs> 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 Which I n notice uh, looking around. On yeah, the ground. It, it makes that little bl cartoon blink sound effect. They go bing bing. They point into his uh, jacket pocket. What the hell does that even mean? Revealing the. the Wait, the, what do you mean they point to it? You're saying <laughs> that, like the eyeballs on the ground are looking into his jacket? Yeah. They're like bringing attention to like the indent on his pants. They're, they're like alive on their own. Besides <laughs> I punch him so hard his glass eyes fall out, which I notice looking around on the ground. They point into his jacket pocket, revealing the memory stick holding my website. You quickly grab the popsicle stick and throw it at the webmaster's face. Unfortunately, it hits him right in the eye sockets, causing his glasses to fall out and falling out of his pockets. Okay, so fuck that sentence. You, you say, just say, I shoot myself in the fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I realize, uh, running a porn site is kind. Of cringe. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of cringe. Cringe and possibly immoral. <laughs> With no other reason, I blow my brains out. I jump into <laughs> <laughs> releasing <laughs> one final brap. <laughs> Release one, one final, final mega mega brap. <laughs> yeah, fi mega brap. <laughs> it like sets the world on fire. Uh, and blow my freaking brain out. B blow my freaking brain to smithereens. <laughs> <laughs> You immediately stop and turn around. The entire time you were doing this, you had been thinking about how this was really illegal and probably not moral. <laughs> okay. Alright. My soul... goes up, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> you quickly run over the webmaster and rip out his heart. <laughs> this thing is on its own, this thing is on its own little thing now. It hates the webmaster. It's not even care. It just wants to kill the webmaster, even though the webmaster was taken out a while ago. This you like, yeah, take a deep breath and breathe deeply through your nose for a few seconds. That's really like... <laughs> This is fucking psychotic. You exhale slowly and let a sigh of relief. Is your soul doing this? Did your soul, like, did you use any poltergeist The webmaster's mother runs in screaming. <laughs> Seeing my ghoul. Ghoulish figure. Mass <laughs> my ghoulish figure. <laughs> This woman doesn't even scream over seeing her dead son, she screams over seeing your out of shape body. <laughs> <laughs> she sees you fucking- When Master Mother runs in from the front door and sees you lying dead on the floor, she screams Whoa. and runs out of the house. Her husband comes in running from outside, but you are gone now. What the hell? The I mean, at least it said you were dead. The husband hates his wife. Which is alright. <laughs> for the rest of his days. <laughs> He stays married out of out obligation. of obligation for his three children. For, for his three ugly children. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband looks at you as if he wants to say something, but decides against it. He stays married out of obligation for his three ugly babies. 
they will be the only ones who ever love him. <laughs> That's such a great ending. <laughs> yeah. The year is 1996. 1996? That actually happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Windows 95 came out last year. <laughs> This is the stupidest <laughs> custom prop. <laughs> I am holding a Pokemon card. <laughs> That's all it should say. Just fucking put <laughs> The year is 1996. Windows 95 came out last year. I'm holding a Pokemon card. You were in the basement of your family's house playing with your imaginary friend. You've been doing this for years now and you still haven't gotten bored yet. Perfect. She's they gave us the person to start with, so you go you turn your imaginary she's friend. Spit on my imaginary friend. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this immediately goes sexual. <laughs> you kiss every inch of his body like he's a piece of meat. <laughs> you don't know why you do it, but every time you do it, it, it feels like a small victory over boredom. That momentary <laughs> the momentary relief from having to think about something else is not enough to make you forget all about the world around you. Pikachu, Pikachu. Oh, I look around, see Pikachu. Pika Pika. Pikachu in uh, Pikachu 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 in real life in real life even so Pikachu <laughs> exists in real life you turn around and see Pikachu standing right there it was only a few feet away from you wait Pik it Pika was only a few feet away from you when you were playing with it wait, wait let's show him let's show him like what he's comes from I show you have, you have I a show, shiny trainer Pokemon card I show you two Pikachu yeah I show it my shiny card of James from Pokemon Pikachu's not impressed if anything he's ravaged now. but it's shiny you, you walk, walk up, up to Pikachu and hold up your shiny Pokemon card. Pika, 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 P. Uh, mm -hmm. Say kick him as hard as I can. <laughs> you kick him so hard, he knocked the life out of the little, little Say guy. kick him so hard, he starts like snoring. <laughs> oh, I use the card to slice into his nose. That's pure evil. Oh my god, you grab the card and you run towards Pikachu. As soon as you get close, you throw the card at him. He doesn't react too much. He just looks down and back up again. He then... He, he, uh, then he turns around slowly and starts walking backwards. Okay, so he's intimidated. So show your dominance. Let's back him into a corner. Back, back him into a corner and beat my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Ito. That's really cool. Yeah, like, it's actually a cool image. Like, <laughs> it's a cool image. But once Pikachu's, like, like, literally at defeat, then you, you gotta keep whip it running, out. and suddenly you stop. Your heart is beating so fast that it hurts. You take a deep breath and try to calm yourself down. You just Say, forgot about Pikachu, I guess. Yeah, Pikachu's out of the story now. Uh, and they introduced it, too. They also had an imaginary friend. He's watching all this go down. We yeah, gotta keep this story going. We gotta keep this story going. Okay. We need to bring Pikachu back in. Okay, say, say, Pikachu starts whimpering in fear. <laughs> <laughs> His, say his pikas are unaudible at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his pikas... Is that even gonna translate to this life? Or... Is it inaudible or unaudible? Uh... I'm just gonna say hard to fucking hear. Hard to fucking hear. <laughs> hard to ducking hear. Decipher. <laughs> hard to fucking <laughs> decipher. <laughs> Pikachu starts whimpering and shaking. His pikas are hard to fucking <laughs> decipher. They hit me! You stop and look- you stop and look behind you. There is no one here except Pikachu who's whimpering and shaking. His Piku- his Pikas are hard to decipher. Okay, so it just repeated itself. Um, let's tell it to get on the couch. Say, if you want to make five thousand dollars a day, <laughs> all you've got to do... Is get on the dingy couch. Five <laughs> K a day? This is all you got to do. Yeah. That's all you do, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's evil. Pokemon prostitution. I want to see if the Pikachu like Pikachu cast the couch quickly jumps. I or? bet if I type a Pikachu. Oh my god, dude! You grab the Pikachu by its little legs and start to drag it towards the couch. <laughs> <laughs> say you can pick all say, you want. Say, There's say, nowhere you can go. Say it. Let's have the most horrible scream you've ever heard. <laughs> it sends chills on yeah, your spine. Say, it sounds like like a baby pig getting its legs gnawed off. <laughs> Shivers down your spine <laughs> and blood to your penis. <laughs> I'm not typing in penis. Why? <laughs> you will never forget this. As you pull Pikachu closer to the couch, it makes a horrible screeching sound. <laughs> its eyes bulge out of its head and it begins to shake violently. You say Slam it into the couch. Into, into the hard part of the couch. Yeah. And I say, shut up. Yeah. <laughs>
Cartoons. Like, <laughs> Cartoons. <laughs> Let's make it watch fucking Smosh Babies. You slam Pikachu into the couch and begin to yell at it. Take off your belt and wrap it around its legs and hands so it can't go anywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Constrain it with the belt so it can't move off the couch. Take off my belt and constrain Pikachu. There's a Pokemon fan that turned this video off like five minutes ago. <laughs> this is not even funny, this is just evil. <laughs> you grab your belt. Oh, I didn't see that. You grab your belt tight around Pikachu's neck. The Pikachu Dude. struggles for a moment, but eventually you force it to lie still. Oh Jesus! Did you, did that say you killed it? No, no, no. It's just lying still. I'm forcing it to. I clip off its fingers. <laughs> and and give them. it to its yeah. Eat. <laughs> and eat it in front of it. I eat them like baby carrots. And <laughs> show it a video of a Brazilian prison. <laughs> Oh what, God, evil, what evil fucking planet is this? <laughs> oh, this is Ash. No, God. You find out later, this is Ash. Oh. Suddenly, like Ash's mom comes downstairs. Say that is the next fucking. <laughs> Dude, if Pokemon were real, this would happen to them. It, uh, you, it you, would. You'd, too, get little, yeah. you'd get little Eric and Dylan, little Ted Bundy people that would do this shit. You click off Pikachu's fingers and put them in a baggie. <laughs> <laughs> you dangle the baggie in front of it. You, you, you shake it like a, a key ring. Shake it around. It laughed you so <laughs> This is just horrible. We need to lighten up the mood here in this a minute. Is, this is the most you evil thing ever. Mom come downstairs. Have Misty and, and Brock you looking for the Pokemon. Pop, you take some popcorn from the bag and toss it. it straight. You, you fucking sp you spit on this thing. You dragged it to the couch. You showed it an evil video. You cut up its fingers and you put it in the bag. Along with popcorn yeah, and other Yeah, you're throwing goodies. popcorn at it. <sighs> You know what? No, this is too much. Let, let's okay. The camera pans out. It's Ash and it, no, it's uh, Misty and Brock are coming downstairs. Wait, what? <laughs> this is Ash is doing this to Pikachu. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh, Misty and Brock walk in. <laughs> what it's the a, it's fuck? A, it's Into a the herb, herb, herb. What's happening? <laughs> you open the door and see Misty and Brock walking in. They both seem very surprised. <laughs> They aren't used to their best friend Ash torturing Pikachu in the end. <laughs> They're not very used to it. This is a bit unusual for what Ash is usually doing. Uh, okay, wait, so let's, let's do this. Misty uses... Misty? Her brap attack. You know, she uses her brap attack to silence Pikachu permanently. Uh, <laughs> Rock crushes... I don't know about you guys, but I think every one of these stories should end someone farting and that's how they all end. <laughs> He'll, he'll Pikachu back. Oh, it's a happy ending. Yeah, I don't want to make this a sad ending. Well, Pikachu's fingers got well, cut they off. Well, they should fucking, like... <laughs> they, they should slit the throat of Ash and use him in a blood cauldron. Look, Misty uses her brat <laughs> potion on Pikachu. He recovers <laughs> completely. He looks happy again. Pikachu sucks the little... So, say Misty grabs Ash and fucking slits his throat and puts his, the rest of his blood in a blood cauldron where he fucking spends the rest of his days. <laughs> There, see? We're I good like, people. I, I like I like how it had a nice little happy ending, now she's cutting someone's fucking head off. <laughs> you grab Ash and hold him over your shoulder. Ash screams his blood what? spurts out. Nothing's even happened yet, he's just yeah. coughing up blood. Yeah. He screams his blood spurts out of his mouth. Ash is buried alive. <laughs> <laughs> up to his neck. In the center of Palatown. <laughs> And, and, and stoned to death. For his crimes. <laughs> for, for adultery. Stoned to death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He's stoned. He's like trying to like claw his way out and people are throwing stones at his grave. You bury Ash alive in the center of Palatine. Everyone is happy. <laughs> the end. The end. The end. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. All right. This story is like a fucking like... Like a this fictional story? character comes to the real world, and what happens? Okay, let's do a Jimmy Neutron. Okay, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron, Neutron. Jimmy Neutron in the real world. Jimmy Neutron appears at, like, fucking someplace. Okay. In the middle of Times Square. <laughs> yeah, in the middle of Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Times Square. Time, I'm in Times freaking Square. <laughs> Times freaking Square. Nah, yeah, don't break it. Probably register at Times Square. On holiday. Should we say you, me, and Zach are in Times Square? Like, we say our names? Uh, how about just, uh, Zach? Okay, Zach, it's oh you and boy. Jimmy Neutron. This is your misadventure. Don't do anything I want to do. I'm not gonna do it. You just, yeah, write my full name and my social security there, too. <laughs> Zach Hadel is in Times Square. Suddenly, a portal opens. Jimmy Neutron steps out. That's cool as hell. Hey, Zach, he says. Oh, he goes, hey, Zach, I'm here! Can we get the actual voice actor for... <laughs> you, I nod, and, and walk, walk over, over to him. him. He's wearing a black t-shirt with the word die. <laughs> What the hell? I say, Jimmy, you changed. 
<laughs> I say, Jimmy, it looks like you, but something is off. Herb. He smiles at you. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he points to his face. His eyes are bloodshot oh and his God. nose is bleeding. Why did you do a creepy pasta in fucking two seconds? I say, uh, this rocks. Say, say I tackle him like a, like a football player and try to wrestle the ray out of his hands. <laughs> God is gonna hit at your feet, dude. You be <laughs> From his hand, his deformed hand. He's hands. going, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Give me that! Have Jimmy call for God or. He calls for God. He yeah. goes, God! God, help me! You grab yeah. his arms and pull him up. He screams as he falls backwards, but you don't let go of his arm. Jimmy, I shout, what the hell did you do to me? Suddenly, a bright light shines through the window and hits your chest. What's through the, the window? I got, ab I got abducted by the green uh, aliens from the movie. Oh, That's there you go, the eggnog yeah. aliens. Look out the window and, and see Jimmy laughing his fucking ass <laughs> off. His, his crow's feet are apparent. <laughs> I am in the green alien ship. I look out the window and see Jimmy laughing his fucking pink, his perfect bubblegum asshole up. <laughs> you turn around and stare into space. The bright light shines through the window. It hits you right in the- Wait, <laughs> Kelly, I'm dead? I refuse to accept that I died from nothing. Uh, wake up in heaven. Say- Uh, Dumbledore is standing next to me. Dumbledore and Carl Weezer. Dude, this sucks. <laughs> Evil Jimmy came out and fucking killed I, you with the alien. Evil Jimmy killed me immediately. <laughs> Doesn't doors. seem very fair. <laughs> He's not even saying Carl is Carl. <laughs> I'm on a first name basis with Carl. <laughs> <laughs> you open your eyes and two old men. Oh, you gay. So this is Carl from the they future. Smile at you. Good morning, mortal. Dumbledore says, how are you feeling? Spit in his eye. <laughs> 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 and then say a bit confused. And spit his eye and say, I'm doing fine. <laughs> <laughs> ha, good one, kid. Carl, Carl laughs. Ha, good one, kid. Ha, oh, good one, kid. <laughs> now that we're all done being nice to each other, what brings you out of the land of the dead? Is Carl, like, gonna take me down the river of sticks? Is he, like, some kind <laughs> <laughs> He's old, too. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's hanging out with Dumbledore. <laughs> He's like in, he's in charge of Babylon. I only put Dumbledore there because he's in heaven in the final movie. I have unfinished business. Send me back so I can defeat Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> they laugh again. <laughs> well, boy, you've got our attention. What business do you have in this world? Jimmy is basically a friggin' racist. <laughs> And that's and that's gonna. St <laughs> that's that's gonna sting. <laughs> and that's gonna stop. The old man chuckled. They're laughing at everything. Oh yes, we of, agree. Oh yes, we agree. <laughs> oh yes, we agree. We'll be, we'll be sure to tell the children when they come <laughs> to visit us in heaven. What the hell does that mean? They that's shake kind of their ominous. heads. Oh well, maybe we'll, someday you'll meet someone who shares your interests. <laughs> they press a big blue button and you fall <laughs> back to earth. <laughs> <laughs> they press a big blue button and you fall back to earth like Kenny in South Park the movie. You stand up and walk away. The old man press a big blue button and. And you'll fall back to Earth like Kenny and South Park the movie. Now, Perfect. just just write like I am alive or something. Just see if they even accept it, because they might just. I, I want to get rid of these fucking old men. <laughs> yeah, get rid of them. <laughs> They're chuckling too much. Yeah, really I'm cool. these chuckling old men. You sit down on the floor and try to catch your breath. Your head hurts and you feel dizzy. Suddenly, you hear a voice coming from above. It's Jimmy. It's Jimmy Neutron. Uh, right. It's it, no, no. Right. It's Sheen. And he says, "Agent." <laughs> <laughs> Corey, can't you do a great uh, Sheen impression? Astronaut! <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. Back so Back soon. So soon, huh? <laughs> Back wait, so that's soon. Jimmy. Uh, wait, wait, we'll do this now and Sheen will yeah, enter the yeah, next yeah, scene. Yeah, Sheen runs in in scene two. You look and see Jimmy's face staring back at you. His eyes are red and puffy. Oh but you know better than to argue with him. I'm sorry about before. I just, well... Is it him saying he's sorry he no, killed me? No, that's you talking to Jimmy. Am, am I to him for he, that he killed me? <laughs> she enters. I don't, I don't remember. She enters with an air fifteen and a Purple bad attitude. Spread. Purple, Purple cock, cock spread. In hand spread. What is? How do you spread a cock? What does that mean? Spread <laughs> cock. <laughs> what do you mean? He's what holding, do you mean? She enters. Purple cock spread. He's holding his air fifteen. 
Jimmy <laughs> smiles. Yeah, yeah, I got it. So how'd you like my offer? He holds up an orange lollipop stick and begins eating it slowly. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> Have, so, have Sheen acknowledge Sam, it just happened. Sam me yeah, immediately holds up his iconic Air 15, his, his loaded, his loaded iconic, and points it to Jimmy's head as a joke. He's like, quick, what is Ultra Lord's made a name? Quick. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ultra Lord's made a name. <laughs> made a name. <laughs> I wonder if this one, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is gonna make the AI's fucking brain get screwed. What? <laughs> you want me to kill you? <laughs> and Sheen's like, that's not what I asked. Sheen pulls the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> she closes his eyes to pull the trigger. <laughs> He closes his eyes like a frog. <laughs> like yeah. a frog? One eye at a time. <laughs> like a frog. What the hell does that mean, like a frog? What Just the hell are you imagining? One eye is closed before the other, <laughs> like Toy Story. <laughs> he fires, a bullet hits her in the chat. Jimmy's a girl now, and she falls backwards onto the ground. She opens her eyes and looks at you with blood dripping from her mouth. Her eyes are wide and scared, but she still has a smile on her face. How did you shoot me? You say shut up repeatedly like Skylar from Breaking Bad. Sheen shuts his eyes and lets out a heavy sigh. Sorry, I didn't think that necessary. <laughs> shut up, she says. Hey, <laughs> just shut up. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Sheen. Say drink purple flirt with a grin. <laughs> Sheen drinks purple flirt with sadness in his heart. He takes a drink of purple flirt. It's okay, honey. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. So Sheen pulls out a wedding ring. <laughs> she pulls out. <laughs> she pulls out a wedding ring and gets on one knee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which, which could be seen on the, on the jumbotron. <laughs> All the TVs in Times Square are oh, yeah, broadcasting the, the moment. <laughs> the moment. <laughs> this is a beautiful fucking story. Oh my story. god, dude! Jimmy grabs the gun and points it at her. <laughs> Don't move or anything, okay? So is Sheena girl now, too? They're both They're women. both girls. Yeah. Oh, they're from the other dimension. Yeah. Oh, it's because they're in a kid's show. They don't have penises, so they're already girls. Okay, so Sheen bites his lip, but still exclaims, <laughs> Jimmy Amadeus Helperman, will you marry me? I don't know what Jimmy's name is. Name is. Jimmy... James Isaac Neutron. Yeah, yeah. James Isaac Neutron. <laughs> what did you fucking say? Yeah, Corey, what the hell did you just say? Do you said to... Jimmy Olbermann? What the hell did you just call him? Why am I spelling it? She bites his lip, but still exclaims. Corey, you call him like Jimmy, like Olbermann, like Scott or something. Jimmy Neutron's in the show. Is the... <laughs> she bites his lip. James Isaac Neutron, will you marry me? Jimmy knows. Okay, we'll do it now. Jimmy and Sheen interlope. Jimmy and Sheen... <laughs> Interlope and it's brap. Official. And brap. Yeah. <laughs> the end. Brap. With, a, with a proper brap. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let's see you what know, it what says is, here. What is this little machine gonna spit out at us? The two men kiss each other passionately. <laughs> and now they're saying something else. Oh, no, oh, they're men now because now they're kissing. So they both grew penises to oh, kiss. Okay. They both fall down on the floor and they begin to roll around on the ground. Okay. The camera shows them rolling over each other's bodies, <laughs> kissing deeply. Oh my god. Jimmy reaches behind him and grabs a large pistol off the table by his feet. Oh my god. Holy fuck. It was all a ruse. See, Jim, he shoots, Jimmy shoots, he shoots, shoots Sheed's fucking head off. <laughs> he shoots Sheed's brain into the hamburger patty, into the hamburger meat. Sprains remains on Goddard. <laughs> Jimmy shoots Sheen's brain into no thoughts at all. <laughs> <laughs> if you Sheen, imagine kissing Jimmy and it's just blackness and you lose He brain. shoots her brains into nothingness. His body goes limp and the screen fades the to end. black. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's a story for the ages. That's fucking awesome. It's a sweet ending. What the fuck? I knew Jimmy Neutron was cool.